All right. That's good to go. And now I have to see. Uh, my channel should be up and running. I mean, it's already up and running, but trying to make sure. Um, did you get the notification? Has it come through yet? I mean, I'm in here with you. I mean, um, I know, but aren't you aren't you subscribed to my channel? Though? I should be. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Uh, it ain't Nico Bean. Yeah, it is. It's Nico Bean with the steam. Live, we, we live. I don't know if, what's going on here, but we, we live. Yeah, we live. Oh, there we go. There we go. You see it? You see it? You see it? Nico, I see. I see Nico Grand right, cool, cool, cool. in the building. What going nice, on? Grand nice, Mountain nice. and Camoyo in the building. Good. In the building. The Camoyo kid. Grand Madam is in the building. Camoyo cool. kid is in the cool. building. Gotcha. Gotcha. I see it. I see it. I see it. All right. All oh, right. Man, this is good oh, hey, just... thank you, Grandma, for coming through. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Kamoyo, what's up, man? Let's get, yeah, let's get cracking. You already know. You already know. Let's get it. Well, I don't know what you listen to, but I'm listening to uh, your OP down. You down with OPP by no by nature. I'm at the chorus part with the black. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I, I said, bring what you got. Bring what you got. I got my coffee. I got indeed, my coffee. I said, indeed, bring what you sipping on. Bring what you drinking on. Mm -hmm. and bring what you smoking on. We growing over here. I don't want to hear. It. Uh, if you a Shannon Sharp fan, you a Skip Bayless fan, are you undisputed? I don't want to hear. You a Snoop Dogg fan? You a Cat Williams fan? I don't want to hear. You a Mike Epps fan? I don't want to hear nothing from nobody. We growing mm -hmm. over here. We grown over here young. And I ain't Steve Harvey. That ain't who I'm trying to be. I'm the same OG. Even though I might, there ain't no change in me. Indeed. I can um, only be me, me, me. What's going on, Nico? What's going on? What's going on, big dog? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Look, Groovy, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here, Groovy. Um, but yeah. I um I have been pondering on this for some time now. Not uh, Oh, trust me. I've been look. I've been thinking for a long time. Pontificating. Um, <laughs> Think. Yep. yep. Wonder. Mm -hmm. Wonder. Mm -hmm. In deep thought. Plotting, if you might will. Plotting. Meditating. Meditating, yeah. if you will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. About 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 what, young brother? About about what, young king? About what? So after that video, um, of course, what you video? Talk, what, what uh, video? Emergency, awesome! I'll just put it out there. Emergency, you got a lot of video. Which which, which video are you talking about? Emergency, you talking about when you talking about Black Panther three? Uh, unfortunately, yes. Okay, um, okay, all right, all right. I just trying so, to make sure the folks picking up what you putting down that they yeah. understand that's what you're talking about. Okay, all right. Go, mm -hmm. go, go so, ahead, go, go ahead. So my thing is this, um. After the whole entire shindig went down at the end of 2022, where they decided to release the, uh, I guess, misandrous, negative, um, basically a slap in the face to not only the fan base, but to let's be honest here, the Black uh, Black Panther fan base and Chadwick Boseman's family. I'm to, still trying to get that red gob of sweat, spit. Up off my face from from the casting of of uh of uh Harrison Ford is 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 Thunderbolt Raw. I'm still trying to get that that wide of spit. Oh, I've never had that much spit spit in my let alone have it colored. Mm -hmm. Like I done had some spit hit me, but not colored. Like that's a big wad of colored spit, mm -hmm. red colored spit, and I'm yeah. doing that damn thing I can to get it up off my face. But damn, that that's Look. it's wet and sticky too. Like, I wouldn't. I would. I would say this is exactly what. Um. Oh shoot! I can't really see that. But um. Uh, let me see if I could change this right quick. 
Uh, let me see. Yeah, appearance. Let me do this right here. Oh shit, I can't even take it off. But uh, I have a bottle right here that's uh that's uh yellow. If y'all can see that, this is what um this is what uh it looked like to me when um uh they decided to um move forward. Like they, so what you're saying is you felt like they urinated on you. Pretty much so. Pretty so you much. felt like they urinated on you, and I felt like they spit on me. Both of which, mm -hmm. by the way, are disgusting, despicable acts for one human. Mm -hmm. To do mm -hmm. to another one, so I can understand. I I feel your pain. I feel. Yeah, I, yeah. And then on top of that, I don't. I don't know. I I'm actually kind of missed this. I was at work, of course. I said when they decided to, when a certain person's run, uh, with the Black Panther comic came after, uh, Chadwick, not Chadwick Boseman's death, but after Wakanda for Never came out, and they decided to have T'Challa on the cover of his comic book where he looks bruised beaten and castrated like he just went through five rounds with mike tyson um that really did something to me five, five rounds with muhammad ali hell five rounds with sugar ray Leonard. hell five <laughs> rounds with marvin Hagler. hell five rounds with tommy the hitman hurts Hell, exactly. Five rounds with Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> like, and I'm talking about they ain't even got no gloves on either. They just hitting him with straight knuckles. Like, good God. exactly, exactly. And then on top, and then on top of that, if, if, if I could take a pause for the calls, all them beatdowns he got in John Ridley's run, he ain't took one yet. Not mm -hmm. now. Not, not, mm -hmm. not, not, not. I know some folks complaining about some stuff, but I just want to point out, you complaining about the fact that. The most dangerous man alive is really conducting himself like the most dangerous man alive. Exactly. Like, that, that's exactly. what you're complaining about. Like I just, I just want you to understand something. Like the dude that's that can talk to everybody that then came before him. Mm -hmm. That's what he's supposed to do. He, he's mm -hmm. supposed to get you up out of there, like the Adams family. Do 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 do. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And even even um even with the very first issue of the Ultimate Black Panther that just came out, he talking about going to war with Moon Knight. I'm like, wait a minute, has this not happened before? Well, he went to war with Kanchu. Not really Kanchu, but uh, Mark Mark Spector. Because he was a member of the Avengers when it happened. Mm -hmm. Like this ain't this ain't his first run in. With, with with an avatar of Kanshu, it, mm -hmm. it ain't. But you know, hey, it's it's got a different flavor to it. You know, I got two brothers, Ra and Kanshu. I ain't never seen this before. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, Cause watch this. It's safe to say ain't even one of them Jewish. Nope. Oh. I, 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 you know. Nope. I low key never understood that. Um, glad to see that Brian. Hit. See, see what I'm saying? See, being able to compartmentalize. Thank you, Brian Hill. Because I never understood that. I never understood the Jewish dude being blessed by the Egyptian mm -hmm. God. I just, I never, because I know Dad going good and well. That story is never gonna flip the other way. It ain't. Yep. It's, yep. it's never gonna flip the other way. So thank you so much for that, Brian Hill. I, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. You know, I'm, I'm interested. I'm grabbing issue too. Hasbro, can we get that extra figure? Post -haste. mentioning Hasbro. How, I got a question. Do we ever get a Hancock action figure for Will Smith? Well, that wouldn't have been a Marvel legend. Now, what true, we can do is, true, what true. we can do is, because because I don't like, I don't, you know, we got all these smart devices mm -hmm. in our hand, and uh, what I don't, you know, me, I believe that it should be real, real difficult to be stupid with a smart device, even though I get proven wrong on a daily basis. I believe it should be impossible to be stupid with a uh, smart device in your hand. So let's see, Hancock action figure. We're just going to do it like this. Yeah, right that's, I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing the same thing. So I'm going to go to shopping. I see I see an Asian female around here. Yeah, I don't see I don't see that anywhere. Hold on. You might have to put in Will. You might have to put in uh, Will Smith. Because um, that is. Oh, wow. Beautiful. You don't have none of that. I see the I see a head sculpture. I see the suit that he wore. Or it don't even look like the suit. Or actually no, it's a custom made prop super suit. That's what it is. Eight hundred dollars on eBay. 
But uh, other than that, I do not say I don't see anything related to um. So the answer to that question is no. Yeah. What's going on, Nick? What's going on, Ryan? What's going on? The answer to that question is no. But I mean, like that was a movie that was outside of comic book genre per se, a superhero mm -hmm. movie for sure, but not something. I think it was more alongside the lines, along the lines of a, of a novel. So not a comic book per se. But even with that, you would either be looking at Todd McFarlane for DCC or Hasbro uh, for Marvel. So that character would have to fall up under one of those houses for it to even be looked at. But no, that's not what we got. So, but, you know. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, Let's see here. Uh, what what they say in the comments? Uh, Ronnie, uh, Grand Madam. Okay, all right. Everybody saying hello to each other. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I recently got two uh two comic books that I just started reading. Uh, one of course was um the Marvelverse Black Panther, and the other one is Black Panther Killmonger, uh by Hill and Ferrer. Uh, how you say it? Fairy Feria, but it's uh Killmonger by any means. And I believe it's a prequel to, um, well, the story of how uh, he comes to, I guess, reach Wakanda before uh, the movie comes out. Mm -hmm. Repaint a dead shot. Uh, Kimoyo Kid said, repaint a dead shot figure or take the head scope and drop it on a Fortnite body. Is that for the, um, are you talking about for the, um, for the Hancock action figure, is that what you're talking about? Because if so, I mean, I'm not, I'm not that deep into. Well, I haven't really gotten to the world of, of like customizing action figures, but I have seen certain action figures out there, and I know Theo, you deep into that. So, what's your take on that? As far as action figures, yeah, he said repaint a dead shot. Oh, yeah, he said for Hancock. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah. Kamoyo said, "Repaint a dead shot figure and and uh, or take the head scope and drop it on a Fortnite body." So the um the uh the head scope that I showed you, that I looked up on my uh, on my phone was a uh it was a head scope of Will Smith's head, and I guess you could um possibly try to get it miniaturized, or I don't know how it comes into the package. But you can put that on the Fortnite body, or in, uh, in, or use a or repaint a dead shot figure for it. But I'm seeing you thinking about that, trying to picture it in your head. Actually, I already got the perfect body. We 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 doing too much. Get a Ghost Rider body and cut the belt off. Okay, okay. Because essentially, all that action figure has and the character the character has on a motorcycle outfit. They got mm -hmm. on the leather top and the leather bottom and some boots per se. Mm -hmm. Well, the action figure that we have that's out right now that fits that description more closely and actually is for the low because I think they just released a uh, Ghost Rider on a retro card. So mm -hmm. you probably can get that for like 24 to 35 bucks or something like that. You get that action figure, cut the belt off because Hancock does not have a belt, mm -hmm. pop off the head scope, put a Will Smith head scope on there, repaint it, and that's it because the Ghost Rider has a jacket, mm -hmm. pants, boots. Look. Mm -hmm. Okay. Boy, that boy good, ain't he? That boy good, yeah. ain't he? You see that boy yeah. do it? That boy stood up there just like this right here, young. <laughs> that Let boy me. ain't gonna look. He ain't gonna overcook the grits. Look. That. Yep. 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 And that's the look. That 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 is the look right there. Um. That that is the look. You know, I want to play a game. I want to play a game. <laughs> uh, Cause I saw what RDC did today and that was funny. But oh, anyway, Lord did you see what I did? <laughs> I did saw you just exactly. see what I inboxed you? Did you just see what I inboxed you? Hold on, I'm about to look at it right now. Hold on. Give me a sec. Uh Let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, actually, no, I did not. Did you inbox it to me on my email or on my message? Let me, let me hit send. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> let, 
<laughs> Let me hit okay. Shane. But uh, right. nah. Um, okay. You know, going back to your point earlier in regards to how you felt about uh about emergency okay. awesomes uh yeah. video and everything like that uh let me just ask you uh how, how old are you how old are you well i'm 24 years old 24 years okay 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 and and what year did you first get acquainted with black panther i knew about black panther when i was in high school i okay. didn't really know of the character itself until of course Okay, so I'll start. Us back about 10 years. So you take us back about ten years. So that's twenty fourteen. About twenty fourteen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. So so let me let me ask you this question: What's the earliest uh, Black Panther's uh, story arc that you've read? Tiny Coates. Okay. 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 Need to get you going back a little bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, Tiny Hesey Coates. 2014 um coming across the character so you're 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 i don't want to say new new because you're not new new you started in 2014. Mm -hmm. um, that's 10 years my question would be to you what is it about in the 10 years time frame that you had that you've been exposed to this character what is it that has you wanting feeling desiring for the character to be recast what is it that has you feeling that way well, it's I'll say it's threefold. Um, first, when they announced that they were going to be bringing Black Panther into the fray of the MCU, um, I wanted to see how they would interact, how they would have him interact with the already established characters. And when mm -hmm. I saw that, I was actually taken aback when they brought him into um, Civil War. And I knew for a fact when I actually grew up watching because actually I'll, I'll take back one of the answers I had before 2014 when the BET special came out on BET for Black Panther. That's okay. how I found out about the character. Okay. And so that was, of course, either General Hudlin or I think it was might have been Christopher Priest because they actually took Reginald him. Hunt. It was okay. So it was Reginald Hudlin. They took Reginald mm -hmm. Hudlin's run and literally put it on screen. So when I saw that and I watched how they did everything for that and i was like this is this is beautiful so from there i i don't want to say i was biased i was like who's black Panther? because i've never been exposed to that growing up hey, i was hey, on I, I just want to um, put this out there for everybody when he's talking about the bet cartoon black panther he's specifically that year is 2011 so he just went back from 2014 to 2011 so we're not talking 10 years we're talking almost 15 but please continue go right ahead yeah yeah um so when i when i was exposed to that and i started actually not really per se of course me being the young person that i was in 2011 i didn't know that much we also have to we also have to remember that um that green lantern came out that same year but of course we're not talking about that we're talking about black panther but um when i saw black panther and i saw how it actually did have a community for it later on down the line when uh it was came out in 2016 and later on 2018 i became enriched into the mindset of this could be a character that we we could carry forward and make our own and so when all the other things came out when infinity war came out when endgame came out i was really invested into it because i started writing my own stuff okay. go well, from if i could i want to ask you this question because you said 24 years of age now We've heard quite a we've heard and read, um, watched where people have said they didn't want the character recast. They they uh it was for Chadwick Bozeman. Chadwick Bozeman was the only person that could play that particular role. I'm interested in how you feel about that because you just said something that I think a lot of people uh would be interested in. The fact that your interest with the character starts in 2011. You have not went back that far. Tiny Hesey Coates is is your farthest go back when it comes to reading about the character. Yeah, mm -hmm. what is it for you? Because, like I said, we've heard, read, watched quite a few people your age, if not a little bit older, um, 
say that the character shouldn't be recast. But in your short time frame, in 15 years, character been around 1966. In your short time frame, you have said to yourself, there's a difference between the actor and the character. How, how did you come to that conclusion? Well, I came to that conclusion because, of course, there's a difference between a person playing a fictional character that embodies the ideals that we carry as a person. So if that person can be can carry those ideals and carry not even just perform the performance on screen, but also carry those ideals in life, then I believe that us as a people, we can also do the same thing and carry that one in ourselves. And so when I'm writing my own stuff and I'm saying that it could be recast, I have a story that when the story goes forward, it takes certain pieces for the character to be successful. And so that's where I come from when I, when I say that it's not, not only just worth it, but it's imperative because our stories go down from generation to generation. Well, let, let me ask you this question then, and thank you. I appreciate that. Um, let me ask you this question then. In regards to being respectful to Chadwick Boseman, respecting his work, respecting his uh, his his career as an actor, respecting his work in regards to the character. At your age, um, being experienced in regards to being a fan of, of cinema and everything like that, mm -hmm. tell us how you feel in regards to someone else tell us something about chadwick boseman tell you tell us how you feel he would believe if you have something to back up that stance in and how you feel he would he would feel in regards to the role being recast and then if you could give us a list of your top four actors no no right or wrong answer just your four or five your, your top four actors if you could so Tell us first about how you, what do you believe Chadwick Boseman to be as a man, as an actor, what he stood for? One, I believe uh, in seeing what he's done in the time that he was on this earth. He was a man of God. He, he believed in God. Um, he always took a, he always showed a sense of professionalism and gratitude to people actually accepting him being this Pers uh, positive role model for not only young um, black males, but young boys in general, young black boys in general. And so, okay, so I'm trying to follow what you said. Uh, no, 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 just, just stay right there. Like, what? give me an example. What makes you, when you say that, being a positive example for not just black boys, but boys in general, men in general, give mm -hmm. us an example of that, if you will. So, when I when I saw him on the uh, I don't know if you guys saw the Jimmy Kimmel um, uh, uh, show where he was literally talking to black literally black families and uh, the the mothers the parents would have their children beside them and they would express their feelings and child those are standing behind a curtain listening to them and just seeing how the effect that he had on that one boy where the mother said that. Um, her son living through the time of not only uh, a black president, but now a black superhero that looks like him mm. and having a positive role model for him to not just, I mean, it's a double-edged sword having a black president that's in real life and now having a black superhero that he can look up, be like, hey, you have somebody that looks like you. You've been had that, but you haven't been exposed to that because right, right. we haven't been, ex we've only been exposed to what others uh per well, other people of color look like we haven't we don't, we've been exposed to superman batman spider-man all that other stuff we haven't been exposed to uh, luke cage uh now black panther because after black panther came uh after black panther came out then we had the luke cage show we didn't have that beforehand well let so, me ask you this question uh with that being said uh i know we when chadwick passed away uh mm -hmm. people you know the wording the, the wording iconic uh used erroneously in, in my opinion uh people could not see anybody else playing the role no you can't see anybody else playing the role of chad we both chad we is not a role to play 
<laughs> that script has not been written. <laughs> the biography yeah. of Chadwick Boseman based on the life of Chad, that has not been written yet. So no, we, we really are talking about putting somebody in the role of the character. My question to you is, give me four actors. Like I said, there's no right or wrong answer. Four actors that that you could could see that you wouldn't mind possibly seeing in the in the role of uh, King T'Challa. Well, yeah, yeah, Abdul Mateen the second is my first choice. You mean you mean it, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody, nobody, nobody wants to see you play Wonder Man. No, nobody. Yeah, wants nobody to wants be, to see you play yeah, Wonder Man yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look at me. Look at me. Look, 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 look at me. Look at me. Nobody. None of us that look like you, like you, think we look like you, mm -hmm. consider ourselves to be like you, consider ourselves you to be one of us. No, nobody. A fan of yours. None. None of us. None. Let me tell you something. And I go back with you, bro. I don't want. I don't want to act like that. I saw you on Baywatch. I thought you was funny as hell on Baywatch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I saw you on Watchmen. And all I can say is, damn, I would have never have thought, but you killed the role. Listen, I saw you in Aquaman. And I'm like, damn, that's Black Manta. And I go back with Black Manta. Exactly. You that dude. You him. You, you him. Let me say it one more time. You him. We do not want to see you as Simon Williams, when you play that role and it don't go right, that is not an indication of an indictment. I'm sorry. That is not an indictment of you as an actor. I'm telling you, I'm trying to give you some heads up right now because y'all think it's a game. We be telling y'all what it's going to go left. Y'all don't want to hear us. When it go left, it's not an indictment mm -hmm. of you as an actor. We like you. It's an indictment of your choice as a character. Nobody gives two dams about Simon Williams, Wonder Man, anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They will take and the because most. Because nobody gives a damn about that character anyway. Your prominence as an actor is being used to lend credibility to that damn character. We don't give two dams about that character. Low key, we ain't never gave two dance about that character. That character then showed up on Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. We still don't give two dance about that character. That character has got three, four, about two, three action figures out there. We don't give two dance about that character. <laughs> Those oh, I got it. My age, we remember that character's best runs or when he was out of that damn green, horrific looking costume and had on his red hunter's jacket with his red shades and his and we still don't get too damn about that character <laughs> yeah so let me help you out um yeah don't i don't do yeah don't don't, no. don't do it don't, yeah, don't, don't do it. ask them can you get adam Bashir? you ask might need to fire your agent your uh your so-called agent because um uh that that right there was not um was not uh profitable for you Oh yeah, trust me. I'll see what's happening in the comments. I really hey, had to. Somebody, had... somebody, boy, look at see, see, see how folks get up out of here. See, see, see. They don't be knowing. They don't be knowing. Folks be around here. Y'all don't be knowing. It be listen. Y'all can't come. Everybody can agree to disagree. Everybody can agree to disagree. I don't. I don't and then, um, I don't. <laughs> did you already remove it? Oh yeah, I already did that. I already did what, that. what did he say? What did he say? He was basically trolling, like like Camillo said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you got to be sad to be trolling. Like, first of all, thank you for the thank you for the view. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, thank you for that, but I, I ain't got I ain't got like, time for that. Like, like, first of all, thank you for the view. And damn, you ain't got nothing to do on two what, with two tonight. You ain't got no female to be with. You ain't got nothing to do. Like, Seriously. damn, like, Seriously. I, you ain't got no PlayStation five, four, three, two, nothing. No Xbox, nothing. No, ain't no, ba ain't no basketball game on. Ain't no soap opera on. Like it ain't nothing to do. I mean, damn. Like I'm just I not finna do. You know what? What's the life of a troll? Like that's got to be a sad. Can we? You know what? Damn it! I'm finna take over. The, oh, can I take it over? Can I take it? What is the life of a troll? 
the life of I see now I got to do it. I want to know. Damn it, put gangers. Hey, 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 hey. No, hey, no, hey. I'm, finna, I'm, I'm no, no. You want to smoke, and I keep it real with me every day. I keep it real with me every day. Some charcoal, some lighter fluid, and everything. He pulled up. I want it, bro. What What is you doing? Where you ain't got nothing else to do? You ain't got nothing else to do. Like. I don't want to look at something I like. I want to intentionally watch something that's going to piss me off and talk trash to some people I would not talk trash to if I saw them face to face. Like That's like pulling up to a bar, going in, knowing damn good and well you don't like nobody up in there. And you, no, you would not do that. You wouldn't. Like, internet, gangster, keyboard, warrior, like, you ain't, you, do you know how sad you got to be to just, I'm going to get up and troll. I, you I wasted think I need, how much I think. of your time you wasted like see i like it because <laughs> i want all the smoke you got you got enough time to troll and do what what's the satisfaction you're gonna get up out of it because you're not gonna get what you want you ain't got the microphone you really exposing yourself making yourself look stupid like no you have nothing if trolling is productive to you as a person do you know how sad pathetic and empty and meaningless, your life got to be that that's the only way you get pleasure. Yeah, it's not. It's not It's not becoming no, 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 a I'm, thing. No, I just, because I'll be like, because I, I can, you know, we all critical thinking people. Mm -hmm. We come across stuff that we necessarily don't like. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And if we feel like we got a credible point, we'll make that point, mm -hmm. go about our business. And that point don't require no name calling, that point don't require no insult. You just sit up there. You just, hey, let me just throw this out there. I don't know the folks that, how old, how, damn it, do you not grow out of being a troll? Like, okay, here we go. <laughs> At what age do you become a troll? And what age do you grow out of being a damn troll? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that, that'd be my point. Like, when does it start? It can't start when you play in the dozens, because when you play the dozens, Somebody else roasting your stupid ass. See, I'm fitting to get into my. Somebody is roasting your stupid ass when you play in the damn dozen. So I know damn good and well that ain't where your ass is at. So now I got to sit up here and say, oh, you must be one of them kids that said something slick to your mama and daddy and ain't never had nobody backhand your dumb ass in the damn mouth. That's yep. what it is. I'm of the mindset that you didn't went your whole damn life and they had nobody turn around and look at you twice when you say something stupid because you know better. You 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 would absolutely know better. And then you still need to know better because you trolling and your IPS address can be tracked to your house. Oh, Lord. That's, <laughs> people don't think yeah, about just, that. They literally don't, don't, don't think about that. No, 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 no. I just, I just want people to understand something. See, we live in 2024. You want to go above and beyond to be stupid. Well, there are some people that don't mind being just as equally stupid, if not more stupid than you. Your IP address is easily traceable. You want to be a troll where you didn't see the video where somebody does a video on either TikTok or Instagram where they tracking a troll through their IP address. There are people that are stupid out here. Now, what you want to you want it to be is you want it to be where those of us that are entertaining this video tonight aren't as stupid as you. Because if we are as stupid as you and you got time to troll, that means we got time to pull up. Is that really what you want at the end of the day? Are you yeah. really thinking about your action? You're trying to provoke a response. Do it, Are you really ready for the response you're looking for? as a troll or do you not think people are just as stupid or more stupid capable of being just as dumb more <laughs> ignorant than you as a troll yeah i gotta share something with you because I, I i literally just figured out who this person was oh my gosh i, I don't even think I, i'm not gonna do this i ain't gonna do this this dude hey this hey dude. hey they got to ask themselves if they like if they like it i love it see at the end of the day you got to ask yourself something like that if people watch this this is what people don't get. I've had people <laughs> Come on, yo, not you, associate me. you ready? I've <laughs> had people not associate themselves with me anymore because of something that I said. Mm -hmm. So watch this. Tom Snyder then had people go after him about what he said about Beyonce. Mm -hmm. He don't know them people. You 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 think, see, you, you see that's the thing. You it's it's all sweet till somebody pull up. Mm -hmm. it's all it's all sweet to somebody oh man i was just joking 
Yeah. No, no, no. Keep joke. that same energy. That's what I say. Keep that same energy. Hey, you better find another joke to tell. You better. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you better find another joke to tell. Everybody don't play like that. Everybody yeah. don't play like that. And if you're trying to be stupid, what's to stop the other person from being stupid? Mm -hmm. Somebody yeah. pull up at your house, be like, "Hey, was you Genghis Khan such and such and so and so on Nico live beat on Nico live stream the other night?" Now you trying to figure out, like, damn, how they know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up, Gray? Welcome to the welcome to the uh, live, man. Welcome to the live, Gray. Yeah, but, uh, watch this. Watch this. If you taking it as serious enough to troll, what make you think somebody won't take it as serious enough to pull up? Yeah. Yeah. See. See. Yep. See. You got you. You got to be careful. You got you got to be careful. You 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 got to be careful. But anyway, we can be, we gonna be growing over here. Ain't no trolls over here. This ain't yeah. Disney. We ain't <laughs> we ain't talking no fairy tales over here. It's humans over here. Ain't no troll. Ain't no trolling. It's humans over here. It's mm -hmm. humans. But to get back on track with your your question, um, besides uh, uh Mateem Abdul Jabbar for Yaya, no, I was, no, that you. that's a basketball player. You didn't mean that. I'm sorry. My fault. My fault. Uh, Yaya. <laughs> uh, Yaya. Besides Yaya, um, at, and of course, that was based off of his performance that I saw from Aquaman 2. Um, uh, I would choose Aldous Hodge as my second, uh, my second pick. Um, and that's due to him saying and the stuff that I've done my homework on and him saying he wanted to be Black Panther way before now. Even before Chadwick Boseman was 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 discovered, and him being, and I remember saying this on your live when I said this in the comments. Aldis Hodge, he literally has been in meetings with Marvel, saying that he wanted to play Black Panther. And to me, even though everybody has their time to shine, and uh, God chose Chadwick Boseman to play this role, I believe. And so, with Aldis Hodge, he just played, he just voiced John Stewart. In the in one of the recent animation movies for DC, and so even now, after that, after he did that, and he said he came out and said he wants to play uh, John Stewart in and uh, main in live action. What's funny to me is the fact that when uh, the Snyder Cut came out, and they actually supposed was supposed to have John Stewart in the movie, where he actually filmed it in his, I believe it was his driveway. Of uh, Zack Snyder's home, and they still made him cut it out. And gr granted, we had Martian Manhunter in that movie. We still did not have the. I guess what they said was they checked off the colored person that was supposed to be in the one movie, but you know, they you weren't. Got, you got you got you talking about in Superman or in Justice League? Because in Justice League, you you did have Cyborg. Yes, you had Cyborg. But what I'm saying, even with Cyborg, Cyborg wasn't an original part of the Justice League. He was he was supposed to be a part of the team. Okay, hold on. I might be wrong. I'm, I'm gonna be, be fair. I'm gonna be fair. I'm gonna be fair because if I look at yes, cyborg. No, cyborg was not an original member of the Justice League. Neither was John Stewart. Um, the original seven mm -hmm. were. Uh, well, I'll put it like this: You got Batman, Wonder Woman. Well, mm -hmm. and honestly, they didn't even want Batman and Superman in it. But you had Batman, Wonder Woman. Uh, I want to say Martian Manhunter. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to say. Green Lantern was part of it. The mm -hmm. Flash was part of it. So, uh, and Green Arrow might, let me see. Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, Flash, Martian Man, Hunter. I want to say Aquaman and Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. Um, Flash was Barry Allen and everything like that. What wound up happening was Jeff Johns came along with the New 52 and introduced Cyborg as the, as a founding member of the Justice League when I, would have preferred Jefferson Pierce. But do I have a moderator? Hold on. Do I have a moderator? Who was my moderator in here? Um, do you have one? I'm confused. I'm trying to make sure because I saw something just popped up. Hold on. Ho, 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 ho. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. What is going on here? What is going on yeah. here? I ain't, I ain't, uh, I ain't, it's supposed to talk reckless. Uh, in my comments, people acting like they ain't got no sense. No, I'm, no, I'm not getting that one because all I'm getting is, is gray. Um, Miss Keita chopping it up. Hold on. 
Uh, uh, um, ma'am. Uh, what's going on here? I just see people communicate with each other. Uh, Akita, Miss Great, uh, Akita, and Miss Grandmad. I'm chopping it up. Uh, Ronnie, Gray. I don't see you come on your kid. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, I'm looking at. I'm like, wait a minute. What's going on here? Astro, you 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 okay? We all right. <laughs> she, said, she said I'm playing. Y'all get right. She said I'm playing. All right, I'm playing. Astro. <laughs> Astro, look, look. You might want to go through the comments and read because you don't come into the lines then when I know what chap drops. <laughs> what, what what's going on? I I can't I can't see. I need to wear some glasses like DMC. I ain't got. Nah, I'm just. I'm just looking at stuff. So I'm just. Oh, Byron's in the building, y'all. Let's go. Oh. Byron's in the building. Let's go. There it is. Th Byron, listen, welcome. Folk, we talking about recast the child. What for? He right now. I can, you know, uh, the child already been recast. What y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. We 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 don't have MCU problems over here. We we yeah. already got the child in house. And on, ironically enough, our voice actor as T'Challa. Is also our live action actor as T'Challa. We don't, we don't, we don't do that here. Yeah, yep. And, and look over here at Earth three three six. Uh, I believe that um, a certain T'Challa would be uh mentoring a character that uh I well I'm not gonna go into the whole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, people people think it's a game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Folks think it's a game, and you gotta let them know you really is about that life of it. You be like, damn, hold on, y'all don't. Bro, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! But to get what? back on track, to get back Let's on get track. Back on track. Let's talk to. Him. All right. So I was Hodge. Um. Aldis Hodge, Yaya. Uh, my third one would be um, John David Washington. The reason why I say John David Washington because when initially when Child Bozeman passed, I came up with the idea. I don't know if I'm pretty sure I wasn't the older person to say this, but it's a legacy. His mentor was Denzel Washington, and I'm talking about Child Bozeman mentor. So Denzel Washington's mentor. Uh, and I'm sorry, Chadwick Boseman's uh, mentor was Denzel Washington. And after the fact, um, the idea, and even even people can't, uh, caught on to this early, was they deep faked John David Washington in the role of T'Challa on the previous Black Panther scenes that we saw through the first movie. And so if you, if you know what I'm talking about, um, then you say, uh, huh? Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um, uh, John David Washington for me would be, a, um, would be a, would be a home run to my opinion. Of course, how tall is T'Challa in the comics anyway? About what, six two, six three? I'm gonna say it like this. Uh, well, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. He's not five nothing. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. <he's true. laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I'm cool. that for a reason. I'm gonna leave that right there. He ain't five nothing. Uh. So. Okay. So if that's the case, then um, he ain't the tallest Black Panther, but he he. No, he's yeah. not. No, he's not. And you know what's funny? Um, Mama Do Fall. I believe. And I, now I'll say this. Uh, Mark uh, Michael Jai White would be a perfect Mama Do Fall. He ain't big enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ready? You, ready? you you want Mama Do Fall? You better go get. Watch this. You better go get Chris Williams. Oh, okay, Fall, okay, yeah, all right. Mama, okay. Yeah, Mama Do Falls. Yeah, that that. Okay. That you know what Mama Do Fall is? If if Michael B. Jordan is sexy flexy, mm -hmm. Mama Do Fall is big sexy. The giant oh. killer. <laughs> And you know what's funny is there's two people that could have played him, and if they were still alive today, and that would be um, Michael Clark Duncan, and uh, um, what's the other dude that just passed away that played on uh, Friday? I forgot his name. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I think Astro being funny. They said T'Challa five five in the comics. 
Lord Jesus. Five five with brown eyes. <laughs> 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 see, see, hey, I'm like, listen, I'm like Steve. I can do this all day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, um, but um, yeah. we gonna make yeah. listen. We we gonna listen. Astro, we we. Diesel, what's I up, man? How you doing? Welcome. I ain't got good sense. I, I ain't got the sense that God gave me. I will start joking in a second. So anything that 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 might folks might want to think is gonna be an insult. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna flip it. But uh flip yeah. it real good. Ah, push it. Doom, 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 you done turn Theo into an 80s person again. Stop, y'all. Come on. Come on, bro. <laughs> push it. Push it. Doom, doom, doom. Man, listen, don't have me take it back to salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. So Theo. Uh, yeah. Um, That's so how yeah. you gotta do it, man. You gotta be in a good mood because folk don't be oh, wanting you to me. be in a good mood trust and everything like that, that right there, yonder. You know what I'm saying? We over here talking about what we talking about. You talking mm -hmm. about Black Panther. You feel what I'm saying? We talking mm -hmm. about Black Panther. It's me, it's me, you, Rock Women Nation, Black Panther fan group, Council of Wakanda, uh, recast the child. This is what we talking about. I, I don't know. I, I don't pull up in, in videos or, or, or lives where folks want to talk about rock and roll. Mm -hmm. I don't. Cause mm -hmm. I ain't, I'm not, I'm not necessarily a rock and roll fan. I don't, you know, I ain't going to be able to talk like I want to talk, you know, mm -hmm. so I don't really, you know, but yeah. you know, I'm not a heavy metal fan. I don't pull up on lies. Folks talk of heavy metal. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know. But yeah. Um, what was the uh, other, other question you had for me besides the, um, so I want to, I want to do this. So what you've done is you told us how you feel about Chadwick Boseman, the man Chadwick Boseman. Thank you so much for that. Uh, you also given us who you feel like would be, uh, recast credible act as far as recast and everything like that mm -hmm. in regards to the role of T'Challa. Um, what I wanted to ask you here, if I could, um, in regards to, um, Black Panther, um, T'Challa, you said you mentioned earlier the hypocrisy of it all. Mm -hmm. What do you mean specifically when you say hypocrisy? Because you told us how you feel about the man, what you believe the man Chadwick Boseman stood for. You mm -hmm. told us who you believe could possibly play the role. Mm -hmm. Hypocrisy. What do you mean specifically when you use the word hypocrisy in regards to the character? So when I believe in or in hypocrisy, I meant when I made that video was the hypocrisy behind not only the character but how they treated the actor in the way that uh, he played the, in the way he played the role. We have, like I said, if we can if we can recast somebody that is in a smaller role, how can we cannot recast somebody that's in a major role that actually pushes the story forward? Because there's of course i grew up writing i was in english classes like you said before in your in your videos you bring a paper to somebody that has certain things or certain structures in a story and you bring them something that doesn't make sense at all they're going to do what give you a big fat f they're not going to come to you be like here redo this because this doesn't make any sense at all you set up one thing you did good on this very first favor this actually made sense you come back with the second one that's supposed to be the supposed sequel and you just hogwash all of everything that you set up in your first installment and so you, you i just want to uh, make sure we're zeroing in on it you use the word hypocrisy do you feel like marvel did something one way with another character and and wasn't didn't wasn't consistent in regards to the character of black panther and if that's how you feel do you have an example of that i can give you an example so with spider-man Spider-Man was not only recasted three times, but with the current iteration that we have of Spider-Man right now, he is about to go through his third trilogy. I mean, not, not third trilogy, but his second trilogy in the MCU, they're about to start it. And that was is with the current um, uh, upcoming, oh shoot, I forgot what it is, but there's a, there's a project coming later on in the years where they're going to be doing more Spider-Man stuff with Tom Holland. Um, let me, with, let me uh, this question. And I apologize for cutting you off because you would have some detractors that would say, okay, 
that's Spider-Man from three different universes, multiverse. So what would you say to those that would push back on that when you introduce the Spider-Man argument? Is there another argument that you would have to use against the naysayers or what do you have more to offer in regards to the Spider-Man argument? Like, and the reason why I would ask that question is because me for mine, when I look at what naysayers have to say in regards to T'Challa, the hypocrisy of it all, when I think about the title of their video, it's William Hurt, Harrison mm -hmm. Ford, Thunderbolt Ross. That's mm -hmm. the hypocrisy of it all. You have the actor pass away. You don't get the big announcement from Kevin Feige that he did in regards to Chadwick Boseman. William Hurt. Uh, I really want to say that's the second actor to play the character mm -hmm. um, of Thunderbolt Ross, but mm -hmm. to William Hurt came in with what uh, the first Hulk movie. Mm -hmm. That's the same mm -hmm. guy, William Hurt, mm -hmm. from the second Hulk movie. The second, the uh, second Hulk movie, um, not with Mark Ruffalo, but with um, not with David Banner, but you know what I'm talking about. So when I think about the word hypocrisy. I think about the fact of how we handle things one way over here mm -hmm. and how we did something completely different over here. Chadwick Boseman, critically acclaimed actor. William Hurt, critically acclaimed actor. Mm -hmm. I got T'Challa. I got Thunderbolt Ross. Okay, well, I got more than one person that's been the Black Panther. Okay, well, I got more than one person that has been a Red Hulk. Mm -hmm. I got more than one person that's been a Hulk. Okay, this person passed away prematurely. We weren't looking for that. We were hurt. This person passed away prematurely. We were hurt. Okay, well, I got a female over here that can take the role of the lead character, Shuri, because she's been Black Panther in the comic books. Okay, I got a female over here, uh, Betty Ross, who's actually been a Red Hulk in the mm -hmm. comics. Okay, to me, if I'm looking at the hypocrisy of that all you make a big announcement over here you say nothing over here you tell me you're not recasting over here and you quietly recast over mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. want to give me a big you want to give me a big um what to do propaganda for two three years over here meanwhile this side over here you're trying to get me excited so you're steadily telling me over here there's no right time for this the, and I might as well deal with a T'Challa Jr. over here. Well, this is a man, male actor over here. This was a male actor over here. Where's my Thunderbolt Ross Jr.? Where's my TJ? Exactly. My Thunderbolt Ross Jr. over here to let him be the Red Hulk, speed that thing on up, mm -hmm. um, at, you know, age him on up real quick. Let him be a member of the Young Avengers. Where, see, I, I when, when we talk about hypocrisy, mm -hmm. I believe in what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Well, if that's what that was over here, why that ain't what this is over here? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me nothing about the cast and crew being home because the cast and crew was at home when he passed away. The cast and crew was not, they weren't in production when he passed away. If you're going to have that conversation with me about them being in production when he passed away, now I'm going to stop talking about William Hurt and now I'm going to start talking about Paul Walker. And I ain't met the anti recaster yet that wants to have that conversation because yeah. that cast crew were literally in the midst of filming when the actor passed away tragically and also not only did they manage to complete the film where we all cried at the end, regardless mm -hmm. of the horrific CGI that was used, they managed to not kill off the character at the end of the day. Not only that, they managed to not kill the character off in a manner that was similar to the way the actor died. And folks that want to say they are fine with the way T'Challa did. I believe every last one of those people would have been sick to their stomach if we see Brian O'Connor die in a car crash like Han did, where the car blows up and goes in flames. Yeah. I yeah. believe every last person that witnessed that would have checked out and would have called the studio, uh, Paramount Studios, one of the worst movie companies, period. Now, see, that's me when I think about hypocrisy <laughs> oh trust me trust me i'm of the same mindset as you i'm of the very same mindset as you because if they like i like you said 
Nobody wants to have that conversation. Nobody wants to have the conversation at all. Nobody. And um, even even in the even in the sense that when we talk about Paul Walker and how hurt we were when we saw Tyrese go up to the go up to the crash scene. They literally, I, I, <laughs> Lord have mercy, Jesus. Man. Listen, listen to me. It's one of them things where you see them and you know the dude gone. That's the yeah. sad part. You know he gone. And you see them sitting at the beach. And you send Vin Diesel go get in that car. Yeah. You know he gone. And you know that's not him. Like, you know that's not him. Like, you know that's not him. And you see them pull off. And you see Vin Diesel look over at dude. You know it's not him. You know it's not him. You know it's not him. It still doesn't hurt any less. They playing mm -hmm. the song. That sad tear jerking song, and you see them cars do that. Exactly. I don't know if 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 the desire was to get me to be emotional. It worked. The Fast and the Furious crew managed to do it mm -hmm. in the midst of all the turmoil, emotions that they were experiencing. They were able to do it honor the character and still in 2024 have me a grown behind man remember that scene and get emotional every time i think about it. they did all that character went home didn't kill the character all character went home to his husband to, to his wife and kids mm -hmm. that's what they did crazy cray cray crazy that's how they did that I don't know one person that's a Paul Walker fan that thinks about that movie or watches that movie that don't get emotional at that part. How do we miss it? That, but that, that to me, that's the hypocrisy of it because if you were going for an emotional moment, the emotional moment did not require the, the further uh, portrayal of needless, wanton black death. Yeah, that that wasn't neat. That wasn't what was needed. And I remember, I remember when, I remember when, um, when a certain trailer came out that was supposed to be a teaser, and they had, yeah. um, uh, when you talked about Angela Bassett and her Oscar, Oscar should have been Oscar winning performance. Should have been <laughs> Oscar winning performance. And we all saw her. We all saw her face after. Uh, that was like she was like you seriously. You you seriously you seriously passing over this opportunity right now, seriously. Listen, listen, I'm sitting up there looking at her, and it was one of them things. And I, you know, being able to compartmentalize, you're able to be fair, just call it for what it is. Not wanting the movie to do well, I I didn't I wasn't gonna watch the movie. There's still you you can still give that queen credit for her moving performance. Cause I was like, damn, <laughs> have I not given you? Everything. I said, oh Lord Jesus. Listen, <laughs> who, who, who asked you need me to whoop up in here? Because I can help. Damn it. They, they ain't got to keep treating you like this right here. Damn. I was ready to go. I'm sitting up here like, what? <laughs> so it didn't it didn't the song that I used, everything's gonna be all right. I was like, no, you're not about to use one of the things that that whole entire song was not even supposed to be like that. <laughs> Like really? <laughs> oh my gosh, Lord have mercy! One thing I'm so glad I was able to talk to my sister-in-law this weekend. Uh, those of y'all that's rocking with us this evening, uh, me and my sister-in-law, we got the bridge crossed. She she mm -hmm. was an anti recaster. Mm -hmm. She was she was an anti recaster until we smoked up and rolled one. <laughs> 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 I know y'all like, wait, 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 what'd you say? Yeah, we smoking peace pot. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing is, folks, folks have a tendency, you know, you, you think, you, mm -hmm. you really do think, like you really, really do think, and see, that's what it is, folks, so you got to get folks that's not used to thinking to think.
Mm-hmm. And then I they you you ain't got no choice but to think. With yep. That. yep. Yep. Yeah, I made them think. I made them think. I threw them facts out there and they went to and stuff two plus two wasn't adding up to be four. I was making <laughs> one look. Listen, and didn't take long either. I really want to say that conversation probably lasts about 10 minutes. Now, when's the last time you was able to convert an anti recaster into a recaster <laughs> at all? Oh, Lord, Get Jesus. 10 minutes at all. <laughs> Man. I, I can't even tell you the last time I had that conversation. <laughs> it's real easy. You hit them with that peace pipe. You hit them with that peace pipe and keep it going. Don't let don't let don't let the rotation stop. Cause see, when they stop, they trying to no no. You're not coming back to earth. Mm-mm. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh 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 uh. Cause what I'm saying make it too much sense. You want to come mm-hmm. down? Mm-mm. Stay right there where you at. Hit this again. Now, can, it be said to say, can it can it be said to say that the same art can go when you when you drinking some good wine and that them juices start flowing? You know what, man? I, I believe you could, but I don't I don't know because I ain't never tried wine. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want to necessarily speak on that. I just I I, I know I, I know this here work. I know for a fact <laughs> this here work. When nothing else has worked, when nothing else has worked, when all else has failed, this right here works. Uh uh-uh, hit that again. Mm-mm. So <laughs> tell me. How you cool with all these people be playing Batman, but you 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 upset with just with just well now see them just any anybody can be Batman. Any, anybody. I'm like, damn, so you won't do it. Listen, I was laughing. I was like, so George Clooney, you don't put no respect on the dude's name? Like, I'm like, Christian Bale, like Michael, Michael Keaton, what we doing? See, that's just uh, that's anybody. I was like, damn. Wow. And so what it made me feel like, and it made me think about this. And this is why I say I understand. I don't necessarily agree, but I understand. Folks love Chadwick Boseman in ways, or they locked in with him, rightfully, wrongfully so, because I believe if you're going to lock in with him, then you need to study up on the man. Exactly. You have a lot of people that locked in on him in ways they never bothered to lock in on any actor that played any superhero role point blank period they wasn't checking even though they can tell you and i just believe this to be part of it i just wish people would have honest conversations so we could get to the root of it root Mm -hmm. root there are quite a few of us that weren't checking for george reeves don't know don't care christopher reeves don't know, don't care. Yeah, we didn't want nothing bad to happen to him, but he ain't us. Dean Kane, that's not us. Mm-hmm. The dude that plays Superman and Smallman, that ain't Brent, that's not us. But Chad, if I feel some type of way about him being one of the best, if not the best that we had to offer, then how mm-hmm. am I thinking somebody else might feel? You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, one, you're not used to seeing black actors play roles like that. You know, mm-hmm. you're not think, you're not thinking about Chris Williams. You're not elevating him to that same level playing um, Jefferson Pierce, Black Lightning, because I I would go out on a limb and say more more of us knew that Black Panther was an actual character as opposed to Black Lightning. They probably just thought that was something made up by the CW. And God mm-hmm. knows they didn't do John Diggle right on, oh. on, on Arrow and everything. We just pro- some of us probably felt like that was just the help of the show first. You so, mean the actual John Stewart that was supposed to be um uh shown? I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't want to do that because yes, what Nico <laughs> just alluded to, John Diggle's stepfather in the Arrowverse, his last name is Stewart. In essence, John Diggle was supposed to actually be the brother-in-law to Chris Williams, Jefferson Pierce. In mm-hmm. essence, Lynn was supposed to be Diggle's sister and Uh we never paid it off that's what he's talking about (laughs) so um i guess what i'm saying is like in regards to that i get it i understand it like i said i don't necessarily agree with it but i am able to be empathetic with it but like i said keeping that thing passing back and forth what isn't shouldn't another black actor have the opportunity to play that role is the black and this is i'm gonna say this we rocking with you on this evening nobody's gonna play that character like chad with both and watch this 
I could be lying when I say that. Why? Because I swore up and down nobody would ever play the game of basketball like Michael Jordan. Well, damn, here come Kobe Bryant. You finna chew gum like this dude. You finna wear your wristbands like this dude. You finna wear your knee brace like this dude. You finna chew gum like this damn dude. You finna walk up and down the basketball court like this dude. You finna wear your basketball uniform like this dude. Your game is this damn, see, in my <laughs> lifetime, I never thought I would ever see somebody but that that Kobe Bean Bryant. That, that was it. That was literally Michael Jordan 2.0. So I could say, we all could say, oh, nobody could ever do it like Chadwick. Well, there were quite a few of us that said the same thing about Michael Jordan. And it, it didn't take long for that to be wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And see what, what it, really it baffles. It didn't take long for that to be wrong. But even if that isn't the case, do we appreciate the greatness of Steph Curry any less than Michael Jordan? Nope. Nope. Not LeBron at all. James. Not at all. Kevin Durant. No, we don't. Great basketball is great basketball. We can sit up here all day long. Okay, well, there will never be another Tom Brady. You know what? That's fine. Do you not enjoy Patrick Mahomes playing quarterback? Are you not Are you not entertained? Okay, <laughs> then. Well, it ain't got to be somebody else coming along playing a role of T'Challa just like Chadwick Boseman did. No, they just need to come and knock the damn role out the park. And we will never get that opportunity if we sit up and say no. It's almost like a herd mentality when it's when it when it comes to things like that. Because when you have somebody come out and say, Oh, this iconic performance is only is gonna basically be your only performance that you're gonna get. And then all these other actors looking like, wait a minute, I literally told y'all already that I'd take up the role. What y'all acting like? Why y'all acting like this for? My agent didn't call y'all, told y'all that I'm really willing to negotiate, pay, not even just pay, but like negotiate things left and right with y'all. And y'all still not even considering me for a role that I can make money for y'all? And this is what it boils down to, making money. I, I think, I think, you know, it, it's, it's not, I think the agents have to do a job of making the actors aware of the roles that are out there. But I say it's on the studio. As I looked at it before, as I said it before, I say it again. I'm not throwing away money. I don't mm -hmm. care what ulterior motive I got. I I, I don't care. As as and I'm now I'm sitting up and saying maybe I need to watch Snowfall. I never want, I didn't want to watch it because just tired of that type of program. But <laughs> I, I like the way old boy kept saying I'm not finna sit up. You not finna mess up my money. <laughs> like I'm like. Bro, that is the realest thing in the world. Like, bro, I don't give a damn about your beef with nobody. I don't give a damn because you watch this. I don't give a damn if you don't like a certain demographic. I don't give a damn if you don't like a certain ethnic group. I don't care. You not finna cost me my money. You not. And if you think you finna cost me my money because you got an extra grind, I will show your ass the door just like RDC did. No, you not finna cost me my money and if i'm a disney investor right now boy i don't want to tell y'all i didn't fire everybody but damn i didn't came through there with a damn vacuum i didn't I, boy look i didn't clean, i find two comb you for over three years <laughs> yeah no three, three, and, and, three. and that's up to over a billion dollars they lost over a billion dollars over. i ain't there and let me, let, me, let me tell you something I get pissy if I go look for an action figure and I can't find it. Oh no, we got to shut everything down. Where the action figure? <laughs> Where the action figure? I'm looking at folks not being way too comfortable with losing money. You didn't lost 120,000 copies. I'm sorry, 12,000 copies of Ultimate Black Panther. Oh no, I thought that was a hoax, but that's true. Wow. Wait a minute. You didn't. You wait. Pause. No. Somebody got to get fired. My, no, no, my my money. Nah, I don't even like gambling because I don't like losing nah. money. Oh no, man, no, no, man, I, no, no, no. I don't even spend money. I don't even spend money unless I feel like that money spent can make me some more money. Like nah. that, 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 that. Bro, 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 no, bro, no. Wait, wait I, 
Um, Grand Madam say, I think Grand Madam has got you. Um, got us covered this evening. Oh, okay. I'm, 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 I'm looking at something. Hold on. What's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Hold yeah, on, hold on. They got it. Listen, Nico, stay on tag. That's the whole point. Okay. That's right. that's the whole point of having a ride with the nation. They got it. All that's right, why cool. I don't even see them over here. They kicking folks out. <laughs> wow. All right. They kicking kickin folks out. And you know what it is? See, this is what it is. See, folks don't like when you be telling that truth. That's why I brought the coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that's why I brought speaking, coffee. speaking of coffee, just for, for just for a brief second. Well, uh -huh. I said speaking yeah, that, of coffee that, that, for a brief second. Lord of mercy, Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, there is a um I guess I want to say red pill relationship coffee uh podcast. It's called it's literally mm -hmm. called um uh I hold on, I'm gonna look I got it on my phone right here. It's mm -hmm. uh called um where is that? It's right here. Come on now. I know it's right here. Okay. His name is Chisa Zed. Chisa Zed. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, he talks about coffee and how people should drink coffee when it comes to certain things and relationships. But that's beside the point. Um, what was your uh, question about uh, um, you had so you had my actors, you had the uh, hypocrisy um, yeah, what I was just about the hypocrisy because that's what you was talking about. That was the title of the video and everything like that, you know. Um, because I felt like you know, we needed to flesh that out, you know, what, what was really hypocritical about the situation. And I think, truth be told, I think we kind of hit every nail on the head because folks got upset when we said it. <laughs> and <laughs> you know, it's even can't you got to have some haters on your team. You ain't if you ain't got no haters on your team, you ain't doing nothing right. So the amount of vitriol that's coming out this evening, we must be saying something that's that's bothering some people. <laughs> and, and you know, and I'm just gonna say it like this right here. You know, um, as as Mama Nam used to say, if you mad, scratch. You know, my my mama didn't care. She said you better scratch your ass and get glad. So mm -hmm. if you are mad <laughs> about what me and Nico got going on, I'm old school with it. Scratch your ass and get glad. We don't care. Yep. Yeah, and I, I want to get to a point where um, where the video that's in question, I I mean I, I said a, a whole bunch of stuff on the comments, and I had people coming at me saying, "What you mean? This, that, and the third? T'Challa, T'Challa was supposed to be dead." I'm like, "Do you not read? Do you not know?" No, they that don't. The no, 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 they don't. No, they don't. See, see, that's the whole thing. That's what I don't really go back and forth. Out. Apologize for cutting you off, Nico. No, no, you good. You good. This me, this me speaking strength into you, trying to give you this this knowledge that I didn't come into in the past couple of years. Now they don't read. Let me tell you something. Uh, one of the things that we take for granted as fans is that the person that care about the character you care about mm -hmm. has done what you've done in regards to the character. Mm -hmm. One of the things we take for granted that the person that say they like the character like the character for the same reasons that you like the character no that's not true what we found out in regards to this is it's levels to this it's levels to this like when i asked you earlier you said well you went back the furthest you went back is time to hisey coats okay mm -hmm. well if you're a diehard black panther fan and the furthest you went back is time to hisey coats okay well that's time to hisey coats that ain't got nothing to do with hell's kitchen you True. missed that story. True. You feel what I'm saying? That that ain't got nothing to do with um the uh what was it uh eternity war or whatever. They ain't got nothing to do with time runs out. They ain't got nothing to do with that. Okay. You coming after that. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. don't know anything about Vlad the Impeller. You you coming, you don't know anything about him being in Hell's Kitchen and not having the abilities of the Panther because mm -hmm. you haven't read it. Mm -hmm. And him being able to be the super a super soldier. You're a you're a dedicated Black Panther fan. You believe all that to be true. He is your number one, but you don't know. So then you wouldn't know anything about Shooty's four issue run, Claws mm -hmm. of the Panther, where she's she suffers from the same bloodlust as Logan does, Wolverine. You wouldn't be Doom War, which was a good read. You wouldn't mm -hmm. be there for power. And I'm going back <laughs> in, in order. You wouldn't be there for deadliest of the species. And if that ain't that, then no, you, because that's Reginald Hutland. I just went from Jonathan Mayberry, Reginald Hutland. Then no, you have not read Christopher Priest run. You feel what I'm saying? If you mm -hmm. ain't read Christopher Priest run, then you ain't read his four issue story where he was taken on the supremacist 
when he wasn't he actually wasn't the black panther there was another dude in africa who was the black panther he had mm -hmm. green eyes and cat. so you don't you didn't read then if you ain't read that story then you ain't read that story where he took on wind eagle marvel two and one or something like that and you ain't read you ain't okay. read don mcgregor's run you see what i'm saying you're a diehard black panther fan and you care about the character there are those that are mcu black panther fans mm -hmm. they haven't done what you've done but they quote everything in the movies like it's facts mm -hmm. and they hang their hat on that now that's fine what i find irresponsible is the movie critics the 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 mcu stands and if that's how you get your money that's how you get your money mm -hmm. but it's disingenuous to act like what's going on in the movies is what took place in the comics that's why they've been disingenuous and wanting to call the mcu the 616 what they're trying to do is replace in my opinion the comics as far as being the 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 source material no you're not that's why i refuse to call them the 616 but when i listen to movie reviewers movie critics keep referring to them as that but you call yourself a comic book fan no comic book fan iman Vellani, is ever going to refer to the mcu as the 616 it will always be 1999 99 so yeah so that's that's how i look at it in, in, in regards to it it's levels to this as black panther fans I just I'm not understanding because we don't do this with any other character. Mm -hmm. I'm not understanding how Black Panther MCU fans feel like they know more than Black Panther comic book fans. Because no Batman movie fan is ever going to assume they know more about Batman than a Batman comic book fan. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. even gonna get the victory all that we're getting in this live. All these so-called smart asses and smart Alex and everything like that. They're not going to do that with Batman because, one, they respect the character in ways they don't respect T'Challa. Two, mm -hmm. if you and I were having a Batman live tonight, they would be applauding what we're saying as two black males as, applaud, as opposed to trolling because they would be impressed that two black men, probably a generation apart, if not two generations apart, mm -hmm. possess knowledge about Bruce Wayne. But because we're two black men, speaking about a black character weird which is crazy because our mother mind said that some of the people that's trolling they black too so we gonna get this type of bitch wrong it's it's not an indictment on us it's an indictment on the trolls in the chat hey Charles, and, what's going on <laughs> <laughs> uh i'll piggyback on that because that's almost like saying and I'm gonna I'm I'm take it something to where it's outside of both Marvel and DC. That's almost like saying the Masters of the Universe movies that came out in the 80s. People going off of that and not saying, hey, there's a whole comic book line of, uh, not really comic book line, but a cartoon line of He Man, of uh, what was it? Um, Thundercats. All these other franchises where they've yet to make live action movies. Some have already had live action movies, some were not that faithful to the source material but still you literally had and, and, and got mad about how he man was portrayed listen 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 you can't be no hypocrite you can't have been cool with what went on in the you no let me rephrase that you can't have been mad at what was going on in the cartoon but you over here silent when it comes to black panther because i'm gonna look at you like this <laughs> yep matter of fact matter of fact hold on astro don't be no woman <laughs> Astro, don't be. Ooh, I, hope, I hope you still in here. I hope you. I hope you in here. Astro, Astro, ooh, Astro, ooh, ooh. Astro, don't be no black oh, woman. Lord. Don't be oh, no black woman. Oh Astro, my gosh. Astro, don't be. Cause Astro, if you a black woman, I'm gonna ask you, where was you at when Captain Marvel came out? Mm -hmm. Don't be. The, ooh, Astro, please, please tell me, Astro, you better not be still in here, cause black man, the black woman. I'm trying to figure out why you ain't had nothing to say when the first Captain Marvel movie came out. If you trolling, I'm fishing the troll back. Why you ain't had nothing to say? Because you look like a sister. 
You you look like a sister. You do. <laughs> y'all like doing this homework. Y'all messed up. Y'all messed up. You, you, you look like a sister. So I got something to say. And you better not be a member of the LGBTQ+. Because if you're a member of the LGBTQ+, I'm trying to figure out why you ain't had nothing to say during the first Black Panther movie. And you better not be nobody white. Because if you white, I'm trying to figure out why you ain't had no issue with Hunter missing. See how I'm doing all this? Oh, don't get me started on Hunter. Please so don't get me you started better not be, you, you better not be no black woman. You better not be no black woman. Watch this. You better not be no gay man that got something smart to say. Because if you are a gay man, I'm going to ask you why you ain't had nothing to say about Horatio Walters and Taku. You better not say nothing. You better not be trolling on this video. That ain't what you better be doing. What you better do is grab a tall, cold glass of STFU and learn. That's what you better do. That's what you better do. That, that's, hey, look. That's Grand Madam, Grand Madam, and Kamoyo got my back. Grand Madam and Kamoyo got my I'm back. Saying, we, 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 we up in, we up in these streets, and I, I stay strapped up, shorty, with this knowledge. So I uh, don't come in here trolling, cause I will dress you down. I, I will strip you butt, booked ass, naked, and leave you dead ass in the center <laughs> of Wakanda with everybody looking at you. Oh, I will. Matter of fact, I do worse than that. I will leave you butt, booked ass. Naked, like they left Aaron and Moore and Shakespeare's Titus Andronicus. I will leave you butt oh, booked ass naked, locked up in the middle of Town Square. Stop playing with me. Oh, oh great! What, 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 great! That's like speaking on the Bay Formers, like they're the only source of Transformers knowledge. Okay, hold up, Gray. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, Gray. Hold up, because uh, he look, told the truth. Look, he, he told the truth. truth. Hold up. Wait, wait. Time out now. He told the truth. Yeah, he's telling the truth, but that's a fond memory. Of my childhood. I mean, it could be a fond oh, memory, but listen, if you're a transformer, <laughs> if you're a transformer, you better thank us for the fact that you got that damn move. We was rocking with the transformers as kids. As okay, kids. Yes. yes, different as kids. Let me say this one more time. As kid, you G.I. Joe? Oh, you you oh, better Lord. think you better you better you watch this. You welcome. <laughs> you, you welcome. You you welcome. I'm gonna step back because look, I only grew up on the movies. When I found out that they had comics and wait, different He man, oh, man, you welcome. Bad <laughs> Allen, you welcome. Justice League, you welcome. You you welcome. You you welcome. You you yeah, you you ain't gotta thank us, you welcome. You welcome. Speed racer. As god awful as that was, you welcome. Oh, whoa, whoa, time out. 2008 Speed Racer was not that bad. Come on now. I'm just saying, you you welcome, because we watched that when we was in the fourth grade. Matter of fact, watch this. Godzilla, you welcome. Okay, you welcome. hold up. 1990, okay, I wasn't in this world in 1998, you, you but- uh, you, 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 you welcome. You welcome, because we was watching Godzilla when we ain't have pubic hair. You welcome. <laughs> you, you welcome. You, yeah, you. I'm going to go ahead. Matter of fact, watch this. Star Wars, you welcome. Star Trek, you welcome. You you welcome. <laughs> you, you Thank watch you, Greg. This. Watch this. Rap music. I don't like what y'all did with it, but you welcome. I you, had you, nothing, my Jewish had nothing to do with you, that. You, I don't you, I don't claim you, you, that. You you but. feel what I'm saying or you picking up what I'm putting down? You feel mm -hmm. you you welcome everything y'all got right now. You welcome. <laughs> you welcome. They still you listen, welcome. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh! I'm just I mean, saying, like, no, like that's that's what that. Watch this to all the Black Panther trolls. You welcome. You welcome. Go out there. I don't give a damn what none of y'all saying. None of y'all got this. <laughs> you control. You control all damn day long. I got more Black Panther than you. Watch this. I got more Black Panther than you. I got more Spider-Man than you. I got more Captain America than you do. I got more characters in my house that look like you do than you do in your own damn household. I, you, I'm good. We, as John Morant said, we good over here in the West. We good. We good over here in the West. We good. We Greg, good. We you got ain't gotta troll me like that. Huh? You ain't gotta. You ain't gotta do me like that, Gray. I know. I, I grew up with teenage mutant teenage mutant yeah. turtles too. Yeah, man, we we out here in these streets. We watch this damn a scroll invasion. We got our own secret scroll invasion going on, right? I don't need MC you for a damn thing. I don't need them. <laughs> I don't need for what? I got a Nick Fury action figure. I can do the damn secret invasion. I don't need that. Who gonna check me? 
What what are, what are trolls at? Can the trolls do something? What what is, what a troll at? See, I told you, don't get me started. I I'm that comedian that bite back. I ain't got damn sense. I got my coffee too. This ain't nothing but some crunk juice. Where Astro ass at? Bring your Vance Astro ass back on up in here. <laughs> bring, your, bring your Jolly Jetson ass back on up in here. I ain't cracking on nobody in the damn minute. I guess I, got, I guess I got to thank y'all for the Jetsons, Tom and Jerry. Uh, um, uh, cat dog. Well, no, cat dog was kind of my yeah, you got to thank us for all um, that. Listen, yeah, watch this, Nickelodeon. You welcome. <laughs> watch this, Nick Cannon. Wilding out, you welcome. You welcome. Wait, ho, 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 ho. Wait a minute, time out. Time out. You welcome. You time welcome. out. Wilding you out, welcome. Nick Cannon is the producer of Wilding Out. That's our guy. We was rocking with him on Nickelodeon back in the day. You welcome. You you welcome. You 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 welcome. Watch this, Megan Good. You welcome. You, you welcome. Because we was rocking with Megan way back in the day. You welcome. You you welcome. So yeah, all the stuff that y'all got around right here and everything like that, y'all welcome. Uh, I guess we gotta thank y'all for Popeye too. Y'all welcome. Y'all y'all welcome. Y'all. Y'all been watching this stuff on Disney lately, like the Lion King and everything like that. If we weren't rocking with Disney, the wonderful world of Disney back in the day when it came on NBC, mm -hmm. y'all wouldn't have that going on right now. Y'all welcome. We and we follow, we follow Disney from NBC to ABC. Y'all welcome. Y'all uh, y'all welcome. Y'all welcome. Y'all got Spider-Man? Okay, well, who's rocking with Spider-Man? Spider-Man does whatever a spider can, spins a web anytime. Catch a thief, just like crime. Look out. Here comes the spider man. Y'all welcome. Y'all, y'all welcome. Yeah. Um, yeah, we 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 out here in we in the streets, in the streets. Yeah, y'all, y'all welcome. Y'all welcome. Y'all welcome. So whenever a troll come up to me, you welcome for me even building a bridge for your troll ass to even hide up on. You welcome. I gave you something to hide up on. What me you wouldn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so i'm just saying i'm just saying like all this i'm not the one to be trolled because mm -hmm. i ain't got the good sense god gave me um i'm not gonna say i'm like this person or that person but if 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 krs1 can say he got a diss track for mm -hmm. every rapper that's out there and that's what that is and you believe that to be what that is then i got a crack for every every entertainer that's out there and if you consider yourself an entertainer yeah i got a roasting session specifically for you i keep that ready because some of y'all don't know how to act like that little fat ascot wearing dude oh um, <laughs> yep mm -hmm. so matter of, fact, matter of fact get you a channel bro why you why you not on tv all them accolades you got messing with people trying to raise money you almost remind me of donald trump i don't know how rich people trying to raise money i don't understand that <laughs> wait, wait talking about you said ask out where so you talking about a certain person that i might not know about you know about the non-social media influence having ass oh yeah, yeah yeah i'm sorry i'm yeah, sorry my, I, my, I, fault, I, my fault my fault, my fault. But my see, fault. once again once again if you notice you see i ain't got no texturizing my hair mm -hmm. i ain't got no texturizing my hair i ain't got no grease I ain't got no no juices and bears and nothing like that right here. My head, my it's right here. It ain't back there, nothing like that there. You can't see my scalp lets my wife do my hair. Cause that's how my hair works. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Now if I put some texturizer or some conditioner in it, you still not gonna see my scalp because my mm -hmm. hair's still growing. You feel what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I'm just saying some folks ain't got it like that. You know, they try and put on for the gram and everything like that. Um, but just me for mine, folks hey, like ho, that. Ho, 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 great. You, you trying to call me for static shock? That's what you trying to do too? He's saying thank you, you're welcome. You're welcome, my dude, you wel you're welcome. <laughs> 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 and then over here, these things like say, vote you're Trump. Yes, so I got, you, we tell I got, you, 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 listen, your generation, you welcome. Because we did this as kids and as teenagers so you could have something to fall back on. And some of y'all so damn ungrateful. If it wasn't for us, 
rolling with milestone comics before DC even hollered at them, y'all would know a damn thing about no damn icon, no damn rocket, no damn stat. Y'all wouldn't know none of that. So you're welcome. You're welcome. Y'all, y'all welcome. Y'all welcome. Some of y'all, some of y'all, you know, some of y'all put respect on it. But some of y'all, boy, some of y'all real disrespectful with it. Some of y'all real disrespectful with it. Yeah. If you know something about a Superboy and a Legion of Superheroes, you welcome. For sure. You, Who you I got to thank for Power Rangers then? Man, listen. You need to know Power Rangers go way, way back. You better thank us. You better thank us. Forget what you got going on stateside. <laughs> you better know we was rocking. Boy, look, okay. They, they was called Super Sensei. You better, you better understand something. Hey, be Y'all real. Thank you. Me. Thank you for being here, be real. Thank you for being What's here. What's going on? That's my big brother right there. Thundercats, Silverhawks, Brave Star. You what? If y'all got action figures today, you see all them damn action figures y'all got. Notice I said y'all. <laughs> no, notice, notice I said y'all. You know who drove that damn craze? Y'all. Do did. you know who drove that damn craze? Y'all did. That's us. You welcome. We was buying all them damn Transformers action figures when we was in school. We was buying all them damn G.I. Joe action figures in school. We was buying all them damn Hot Wheels back in the day when we was in damn school. Hell yeah, you welcome. You 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 welcome. You you damn sure right. You welcome. Y'all need to start putting respect on your elders' names and everything like that. Matter of fact, thank us for the PlayStation 5. You welcome. Huh? We, we did the Atari 2600. Where was you at? Coleco well, head-to-head oh. football. Coleco, if you got a handheld game today, you welcome. If you got a game, a console game today, you welcome. You, you what? You got the Blu-ray? Damn it, you're welcome. Because we had the compact disc. It wasn't such a thing. The damn laser ray disc. You, you welcome. Damn thing looked like the size of a damn album. You welcome. You, you, you welcome. You welcome. You, 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 you welcome. Like, that's all y'all can say to us. Because we see, we sitting up there looking at y'all like, so you just you just gonna act like you did all that. You ain't do nothing. You reaping the benefits of it. To Charlie Wear full mask, you welcome. You you don't you 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 got a problem with him wearing a half mask? Hell, do what we did back in the seventies, right in the morning. <laughs> hey, I still need that email because you. Can, I know you say it every time, but it sleeps out my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and write it down right now. Okay, <laughs> M Heroes, M M, M Heroes at Marvel.com. At marvel.com. Okay to print. Marvel. Hell yeah. Com. Space Ghost, Johnny Quest, Wonder Woman, Green Hornet. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. If you watch Seth Green do that little sorry behind Green Hornet movie, you're welcome. Oh, oh wait, I don't I don't I don't remember that, but what was that? What was that again? I said if you saw Seth Rogan or whatever his name do that little sorry behind Green Hornet movie, you're welcome. No, I heard you. I was I, I remember seeing that movie and I didn't understand what character he was playing, but um uh, he, he played Green Hornet. That's supposed to be Green Hornet? Yeah. No, no, that ain't Green Hornet. We don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> I mean Kato was know. fine. Kato was fine with me because I saw Bruce Lee play Kato. Kato. Kato did what he was supposed to do. We don't yeah. know who the hell that other dude was. But watch this. You welcome. Yeah. Y'all, y'all welcome. Y'all not understand it. We for real out here in these streets. And y'all, we be sitting up here like, boy, look. Now, why we could easily let y'all go out here and be stupid. We could. Because we be knowing stuff. And we didn't got to the point now, the older you get, you ain't trying to convince nobody no more. Mm -hmm. The older mm -hmm. you get, you know, I ain't, I ain't got time to convince you for what? The older you get, you're not trying to impress nobody. Impress you for what? I know what I know. You can be stupid all damn day long. I ain't going to be stupid out there with you. Okay, mm -hmm. well. So I want I want I want to backtrack for a second. When you talked about Speed Racer, now, of course, when I first saw Speed Racer in two thousand eight, after I watched the Incredible Hope movie at the theaters, um, here he comes, here comes Speed Racer. He's a demon on wheels. Well, they had that they had that theme song in. Uh, they had that they had that whole entire theme throughout the whole entire movie. Man, y'all ain't man. You don't know y'all don't know nothing about no Speed Racer. Y'all don't know about no speed racer. That movie was garbage. Oh, <laughs> Listen, on. if you watch the speed racer cartoon, you was thoroughly disappointed in that damn movie. The only thing you was impressed by as a speed racer fan was the merch that came along with it. That's it. 
because you never understood as a speed racer fan why Hot Wheels never capitalized on that IP. True. I would True. keep True. speed racer cars in heavy rotation. Hot Wheels, what's what's the other one? Um, what's the other ca car company? Um, um, Hot Wheels and something else. Ain't no speed racer. I, I never understood that. And even to this day, you can go on eBay and still not be able to track down that whole damn line. That should be easiest, but these folks don't want no money. I ain't never seen folks that don't want no money before in my life. I don't even know why. I never understood. 3.75 line action figures, right? Mm -hmm. The Mach 5. The Mach 5. I'm going to go ahead and say it. The mock, we sit up here and talk about has labs and all this other stuff, you know, mm -hmm. folks prepaid, pre order, and everything like that. I don't know one person that if you could get the mock five, whether it's one six mm -hmm. or one twelve scale, well, I don't know what the three four scale is. I think that might be like the, I think that might be like the one eighteen scale. Mm -hmm. One. I don't know one person that would not buy the Mach 5. God forbid if they put Racer X's car in it as well. That don't make no damn sense. You didn't get what you were supposed to do, supposed to get as far as merch, because the merch was based on the movie. Had you got cars from Hot Wheels based on the cartoon, you don't even know what the monster race car is. I'm sorry. You, I, I want to give you a hug. You don't know what the monster, monster race car is. <laughs> you, you don't know. You, you, you been, you, you ain't, you ain't get what we got, big dog. You, you I give you a hug, bro. I give you a hug. You know. So, all right. Going Matchbox. Back. Thank you, be real. I knew my brother was gonna remember Matchbox. Matchbox. Matchbox? Yes, I did. Kamoyo just said the mammoth car from Speed Racer. Yeah, just got you. Got oh, you no, man I remember me. that. No, I actually remember that because I when I back then in 2008, they still had that going. And when I would go to the toy section in Walmart, they literally had the uh, the uh, large version of the Mox, either Mark 5 or the Mark 6 that was supposedly from Speed Racer. Keep that going, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's something. If you, if, if I was looking, watch this NASCAR, if mm -hmm. NASCAR. Kids, you, it's really hard, and we they've tried to make NASCAR racing cartoons back in the day. They don't really work well. But Speed Racer, based on how that was adapted, if I was NASCAR, you really could let Speed Racer, Racer X, be your unofficial official mascots and everything like that. Mm -hmm. You could build a line of, 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 of merch with those action figures. You really, mm -hmm. really could. And incorporate those action figures their cars into what you got going on, especially when we talk about open wheel racing. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? There's something, but never mind. This ain't what this video is about. I've been went down the road, but anyway, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, now I want to switch it to GI Joe for a set because you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> you're no, welcome. but I want to. I want to learn something real quick. I want to. I want to understand some things. Of course, yes, I grew up on the uh, the 2007 and the 2013 movie. Um, from the 2013 movie, from, my, uh, from what I understood was the cartoon that was coming out at the time, which was G.I. Joe Renegades. They had uh, Roblox. It's cartoon. It's, it's had, decent. It's decent. Yeah, and so what, I, what yeah. I'm saying is when they actually had that, when, it, when the movie came out yeah, in 2013, yeah, I mm -hmm. saw chat. I'm not not Chadwick Boseman, but um, Dwayne the Rock Johnson played Roblox, and I was like, "That's different. Why does he look like that? He looked totally different in the cartoon. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> like, really?" <laughs> uh, what it is is Dwayne Johnson had became out Dwayne, which is crazy because I don't. So Dwayne Johnson has replaced Terry Crews as our. Talking Wait, so, big black guy, you know, big black true, guy. True, true. We, you know, you know, it ain't Winston dude. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's crazy because it's it's the dude that really don't carry the flag like that for us. It's it's him. <laughs> it's him. Yeah. We don't we don't have nobody 
like him to play the damn role of the big black characters. We 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 don't, unfortunately, we don't. And which is crazy because back in the day we would have just gave that Kevin Gravo would have been true. Been that. But, true. Now yeah. see, I could see I could see Kevin Gravo mm -hmm. playing um playing Roblox. That would have been a way more yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, accurate. Yeah. That, that that's how that would have went back then. But we don't we don't really. We don't, we don't, and Bobby Lashley ain't nobody asking Bobby Lashley to act. Mm -hmm. That could be that too, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't, man, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I'm so, Dwayne Johnson has hurt my feelings. I'm just, <laughs> 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 I mean, damn it, bro, I was rooting for you, bro. You, you just act like you don't see your boy no more. You don't no. see us out here no more. It, it ain't. Now, mind you, I will say that's this. why I hope Cody Rose beat you. Watch this. That's why I hope Cody Rose beat your behind. I hope oh, Cody wow. Rose, yeah. I hope Cody Rose. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I was gonna say this. Um, now I'm actually kind of excited because we might be getting an accurate adaptation of the G.I. Joe finally, due to the fact that listen, listen here, listen. Did you watch Transformers Rise of the Beast? I mean, I'm gonna tell you, yeah, but right now, I'm 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 not I'm not saying what I, I might get. I'm in the um show. I'm from Missouri, and I, I ain't I ain't never been to Missouri, but mm -hmm. I'm from the Show Me State right now. Mm -hmm. Um, you you want to show me? You know, did, was Transformers good? Was that was that Transformers? Yeah, it was good. I liked it. Well, you feel what I'm saying? I, I like it. Well, you do know they snuck in that little cameo. I saw it. I, I, I saw it. I saw it. That all that means is I saw it. It don't mean it's gonna do nothing. It don't. It just mean I saw it. That's all that means. And 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 now what I will say, Michael Bay. That's mm -hmm. who you're talking about, right? No, no, no. I'm not, no, this Bay. is not Michael Bay. That that who Rise of the Beast. The Rise of the Beast had nothing to do with Michael Bay. He he might have. Who was the director? The director for Rise of the Beast is. And I'm about to put you him up now. Rise of the Beast you know, for, from last year. You the director that, is Stephen Capel Jr. That's the direction. Okay, well, he, he, Stephen Caper Jr. did his thing. I don't want to act like that. But, you know, holler at me again. Holler, holler at me again. Ho, 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 holler at me again. I mean, let me let me see what the trailer look like. You know what I'm saying? You got me with that one. I like it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I like it. But, you know, hey, that don't mean we're going to like the next one. Because you better do something that low-key, they ain't really did, period. Like, folks didn't kind of flaunt it with the idea of mm -hmm. G.I. Joe with the Transformers, but mm -hmm. ain't nobody really put that together to the point where it worked. Well, how like about they this? To do it right, they do it, they're trying to do it right now in the comics. Well, it was it was done the comics, it was done in the comics during Michael Bay's run on Transformers. You didn't hear what I just said. See, I said that it worked. Mm -hmm. And when I say work, i.e. the comic book generates money to the mm -hmm. point where we're still doing it. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? See, just because I do something don't mean it work. Yeah. True. You know what I'm saying? I come out here and run the 40. Not gonna run, I'm not gonna run nothing under four, nothing. I'm not I'm not running nothing under five. No. <laughs> yep. that, ain't, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> Theo, how you run a how you run a five ten at the 40? What you mean? How you think? <laughs> I never claim to be a track star. What is you talking about? <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um Grace says he did Creed too. Okay, no guarantee we'll still get quality actors for that Joe project. Absolutely. Not since the comments in the 80s when it worked. Absolutely. Uh, G.I. Joe, it was 12 inch figures before it was four inch. Absolutely. That with the Kung Fu grip. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, so G.I. Joe has never been adapted well to the big screen. That's, that's facts. These so, people said several G.I. Joe castings was off. Snake Eyes, one through two, Storm Shadow Jinx were on point. That's true, but let me. What, what, what did y'all think about the um the the Snake Eyes prequel to like the whole entire? Basically, a, it was a standalone film. It was an origin story. I don't think we even got the action figure. I'm just going. That's how we felt about that. Like I don't think that merch line did too well. Um, I don't think it did either. I, I see that. I see that Storm Shadow sitting out there. And he just sitting out there. I don't think we really. Yeah. I don't think we really pressed about that. Um, I think that is what that is at the end of the day. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, th the thing is, is this is what people have to remember. And I don't want, because we've been on here, we've been on here for a minute now. I don't want to keep people too, long, too much longer. Mm -hmm. But here's what people have to remember. And I think they have gotten, Hollywood has gotten, and I talked about this on my live today. 
the the comic books are the source material for the movies not mm -hmm. the movies being the source material for the comics there have been quite a few comic book reviewers that and i'm going to talk about this they talk one of the things comic book explain comic book story and whatever mm -hmm. um one of the videos i was watching on there was when thanos uh mm -hmm. in regards to him getting back with death and everything like that mm -hmm. and one of the things he alluded to was who thanos has always been in the comics vice who they tried to make who they made him out to be when he showed up in the mcu well thanos is a simp mm -hmm. pretty much so that's a simp like at the end of the day everything he doing is to for, please for lady death. Death. Mm -hmm. that's it that's it and he gonna let her mistreat him every way till sunday every he ain't doing nothing for nothing else other than and i'm trying to conquer the world no i'm trying to get with old girl what is it gonna take for me to get with you mm -hmm. well they changed him up they made him they made him more dangerous made him more i'm trying to conquer the universe with when the M's when he got introduced in the mcu well mm -hmm. comic book fans wasn't feeling that they're like no nah, man the hell is this this ain't this ain't what this is and so what winds up happening is you had that comment not necessarily or that storyline not necessarily doing too well mm -hmm. until the mcu gets done with dangerous thanos and they mm -hmm. put thanos right back to where he was now folks like this thanos again this is the thing that the movie companies are missing and i really want to call it a reprehensible act because as somebody alluded to we're not hiring the hockey coach to coach a football team mm -hmm you don't give two dams about these characters and their fan base what you give a damn about is the money that can be made and based on one movie reviewer who made the comment two years ago you give a damn about the general audience you don't give a damn about the comic book fan well i believe in equal energy the comic book fan has shown you they don't give two dams about you and you earned it because you mistreated their genre of characters in ways you would have I, Kevin Feige not doing this with no Star Wars character. He's not doing this with no Indiana Jones character. Matter nope. of fact, if I say he's a fan of Indiana Jones, just think about how easily he slid his boy Harrison Ford in there for that role. Yeah. He didn't even look at nobody else. If I tell you he's an Indiana Jones fan and you can read that and you can research that, well, you just need to know he didn't audition anybody else for that role. He went and got his guy that has played one of his favorite characters and mm -hmm. him right. he got one of his favorite actors who's played one of his favorite characters and slid him right in there to play another actor well if that's what that is then if that's what that is then i i, I, I ain't got no talk for nothing in regards to why we can't have what somebody else had too many too many considerations being given over here on this side and mm -hmm. it ain't got to be about race or anything like that it can really just be about well we don't want this image this representation you have to have your own conversation with yourself why they don't want why they would prefer the what's the dude's name john john on snowfall what the what was name character dempsey Dem, uh dempsey so, was playing um, 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 joe I, 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 it's, I don't even watch that TV show. So to be honest, I'm I'm trying to figure out what the what the dude's name is. Um, trying to figure out the name of the character that he played. But at the end of the day, you can always see value in that character. Hell, mm -hmm. honestly, we all can see value in that character. Honestly, mm -hmm. if we talked about Snowball coming back and he said he wasn't coming back, you know what we'd be saying? Who they finna recast as a character? That's exactly what we would say. That's you almost saying the same thing about power. If uh if ghost to do to play it, ghost it, ain't coming back. It, it is, it is. If we so me for mine, no. T'Challa is that dude. There is hypocrisy going on in regards to it. Um, as I said before, um, you can tell based on the vitriol, I'm pretty sure you had lies before and ain't never got this type of pushback. <laughs> Cause people in their feeling they're gonna be all right. Scratch your ass and get glad. I don't I don't care about none of that. Um <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't. But, I'm gonna uh, end it off. I'm gonna end it off on this, Theo. Um, I'm kind of excited to see uh what they're gonna do with the MonsterVerse at the end of March. 
for mm-hmm. um well actually i'm uh excited for two things one doom part two is coming out uh this week um i was looking on my phone to see if they have a double feature so on both the first movie and the second one but i just found out that the second was three hours long just like the first one is mm-hmm. um uh for doom uh doom oh, part two baby. you know you know low key that's what ultimate black panther is based on right what uh that that whole entire premise of uh intergalactic intergalactic national uh trading and stuff like that in i'm just life. saying i'm just saying he, he's a doom fan brian hill is a doom fan okay okay i can see that i can see that and i'll 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 actually go i'm gonna do my homework on that but though the two movies that i'm excited for is um uh, good night uh ronnie J. um i'm excited for that one and i'm excited for godzilla x kong new empire because I, boy, the, boy boy when is that this weekend no that that's at the end of the month on march 29th well, I got, listen i got to get up on that boy i got to get up on that day yonder boy look at him look at him um boy, look at him. I'm, 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 i I don't like subtitles um so i did not see godzilla minus one y'all do not judge me i just i find subtitles distracting because i want to read <laughs> i mean that's true I wouldn't go see I'm not, it. I'm not talking about anybody else. Everybody else ain't get it where you fit in. I'm just telling y'all so I, the same thing with One Punch Man. I do not watch it with the subtitles because I got to read it. <laughs> what, what do you say? Hold on. What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> but, uh, hold on, man. Let me do this for my brother. D. D. Real. D. Dog. Brother. Is my brother still in here? He's still. I think he should be. You still in here? You see what we got, big dog. You see what we got. Is that Big Barter? No, man, that's Power Princess. Actually, no, this is Frenzy. This Frenzy. This Frenzy. This Frenzy. She gonna be Frenzy. <laughs> and she gonna be friends. <laughs> she gonna be Frenzy. She gonna okay. be Big dog, big bro, big bro. 24 and some change, big bro. Big bro, 24 and some change from Hasbro, big bro. Big bro, 24 and some change. 24.99 and some change, yeah. Okay, okay. See, 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 watch this. That's how you get your action figure collection up. Watch this. That Banshee three pack with the blue and gold team, three, mm-hmm. $49.99. That ain't what that price is. It's $49.99. <laughs> you see, you see, you see what I'm saying? Like, boy, you got to listen. You want to build up your action figure collection, my boy. What you do is you be around here looking for these sales. You feel what I'm saying? You be out, you be out here on these streets, like. What you got for me? What you got for me? What did uh, Greg just say? Saying that TJ can have to tell his stories and meet Stormers like saying Marcus Jordan to Lasha Pippen for the two hand smash won the Chicago Bulls three consecutive championships. You're not you you're not wrong, but you know, hey, people gonna make excuses for what they want to make excuses for. That's what I've learned. You know what I'm saying? Like honestly, as my as my dog would say, people gonna people. So Ludacris said something on he was being interviewed and they asked Ludacris, they said, how was he able to get along with people? And it's something that I'm trying to embrace, a mindset that I'm trying to embrace. He said he just accept people for who they are mm-hmm. day to day. Like he has no expectations of you being who you were on Monday. If it's Tuesday, he expect to run into a different person. And my daughter spoke on that because she was like, yeah, we know each other. But we don't always meet each other at the same time in our life and everything like that. Like who you, the Theo that you talk to tomorrow, the Nico that I'm gonna talk to tomorrow, is mm-hmm. not gonna be the Nico that I'm talking to tonight, based mm-hmm. on whatever's going on going on in your life at that particular time. You mm-hmm. might be distant, you might be super friendly, you might be mad, you might be, you know what I'm saying? Just like mm-hmm. a whole bunch of things. And I think what we wind up getting into, people show us something. And we want to believe that to be true mm-hmm. and we ride it we ride with that as opposed to just just letting it play out because if you just let it play out they can't disappoint you you know they can't surprise you if you just let it play out just mm-hmm. just let it play out and just let it go from day to day until they show you and even then because i've seen some people you can be rocking with them for five years straight and they switch out one day you're like well damn hey that 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 brings back uh Wow, that brings back some memories. Uh, Lord Jesus, 
You think okay, you have so he got the game of verse Black Panther out here, Theo? I'm gonna send you a pick. Yeah, my brother, you're gonna have to do that. Let me get that. Let, Let me, me see what that, that looks like because I'm gonna look it up myself. I'm gonna look that up right now. I did see a venomized Black Panther that I thought was sweet. Sweet. And I said, but I said no. Because I got some things going on. I got a thing for you, baby. There's a I'm in L O V E. Oh shoot! You know what? Oh, okay, I see what you're talking about. The uh, Game of Verse Black Panther that that's from the um, that's from the Avengers uh, game that he's talking about, I believe. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But I just saw what it looks like for um, Black Panther, um, for that uh, that well specific one. I see different ones the shopping and images but i see one that that literally looks like the one from the avengers game itself um but yeah i, know, but I, just, I just saw something a little hard as i don't know what and i'm trying to hope that ain't with it because that thing look hard i'm seeing this one right here uh the brand pcs 1400 bucks um Marvel's Black Panther statue by PCS. Uh, that is Collect PCS. It's Premium Collectible Studios. It has Black Panther in his uh in his um in his on his throne. <laughs> uh come on yo i just decided to try something different for like being kind of you know special for my um <laughs> for my uh for my live that's why i did it um that's what i did it for my bad my bad my bad no we back did you but, find um, it for uh find the what the game reverse or yeah. or um i found i found it um it sh should be right here. Uh, let's see. Game reverse. Yeah. Um, I forgot. It, it's it's what it pops up is it says two different things: a Funko verse and game reverse itself. But I never saw. Um, here's some information. Okay, so. Uh, I see the Black Panther action figure, but it's it's sixty four dollars. <laughs> what the uh the uh piece itself? Are you looking at shopping? Um, Game of Birds Infinite Action ZD. Okay, I see it. I see it. eBay, right? eBay. Yep. All right, cool. I see it. Yeah, that's totally different. All right. That. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's totally different. So I'm, I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on Big Brother send this picture because that's all I got. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna send it to you right here. Is he saying that he has one himself, or that what my big that what my big brother said? That what my big brother said? That what my big brother said? So we we trying to make it do what it do. We trying to see. Y'all, we do it like this. Y'all, 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 y'all ain't, y'all ain't, y'all ain't new to this. Y'all know we be looking up stuff on the channel. If you've been rocking with me on the, on the IAS, IJS channel, y'all know we be out here in these streets looking for stuff. Man, send a picture, big bro. It's an action figure, big bro. Okay, big bro, send the picture. He said, really? I ain't paid near that. Oh, yeah, big bro. Said, man, how much you paid, big bro? Where you get it from? Big bro, talk to me. Big bro, big bro, where you got it from? Talk to me. Talk to me, baby. Tell no, I can't sing it like that. That's old school Chico the Bar. Did y'all know that Chico the Bar used to have a Jerry Curl back in the day? 
I know he look hard right now. Brother got the bald head and everything. But y'all know Chico the bar used to be, he used to be one of them dudes, one of the pretty boys back in the day. Before we got this no guarantee stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need, man, listen. I, I seen it, I seen what you got going on, but I just don't see the price. You say you ain't paid nearly that. You gotta tell me where you got it from. Cause we out here in these streets. Limitless, limitless. On sale. Let me see what we got going on. My brother said he ain't paid nearly that. So I gotta, my brother gotta talk to me. Y'all know what I be feel like here. he might have got that from like a um I don't want to say an antique store, but ones that like literally sell certain things that have been I don't that, how long has that uh has that game of verse been out for? Let's see, let me see. Oh damn. damn. See what Big Bird gonna have to do is say where he got it from. Mm -hmm. Cause I see the Funko Pop. They want sixty four and some change. Now this is um Super War Black Panther Super War Game of Verse Black Panther Super War. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if that's what we're saying Black Panther Super War Game of Verse. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need him to tell me where he got that from. Um, yep. Excuse me. Have you heard of their um? They're trying to come out with another Terminator movie. Man, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I, I I really want to say I was terminated out in Terminator Three. Really? Wow! But you you just got you know what? See see you new to the Terminator franchise. We I'm go not. back, <laughs> bro. We go back, bro. Be like, man, I'm not gonna keep doing this with y'all, man. I just seen way too many Terminator movies. So wait, you didn't like Terminator Dark Fate? That you asking me like if, as if I even watched it? Lord, wow. Okay. All right. Wow. And the the um email you gave me at M Heroes at Marvel OK to print. Am I supposed to put Marvel.com then slash OK to print or how am I supposed to do that? You do it at um M Heroes. Mm -hmm. M Heroes at Marvel.com. Mm -hmm. The subject line would be OK to print. Okay, all right, cool, 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 cool. So that's just the subject. All right. Yeah, man, I don't, my, my, my big, big bro gonna have to help me on this one because I I see it, but I see it for sixty four. He say he ain't paid nearly that. Oh, oh. DC said most of them aren't good. So wait a minute, you telling me the Terminator Salvation ain't good with Christian Bell? I mean, you know, I you know I'm not gonna say that because you know you like what you like at the end of the day. I ain't gonna say that. You like what you what what you like. I mean, I can, I can, I can, I could agree or disagree when like Terminator Genesis came out. I know that was trash. Like, I understand that. Um. Uh, let's see here. This is ZD Toys. ZD Toys Black Panther. Hmm. <laughs> oh, he said, he said that. Um, he said that the uh the eBay uh he said that it's on it's on eBay for thirty nine dollars. Okay, okay, okay. No, never mind, never mind. Tell tell Big Bro man, I got I got to come fly to I got to come fly to uh, Alaska. Tell him I'm gonna have to drop him on his head. Um tell him I'm gonna have to drop him on his head because he was he was out here on this time for it. Tell him I didn't find it. Thirty-eight 
Yeah, I can count the things about like 40. So this is a said <laughs> this is a said the salvation, some of that salvation instead extended count was a little better in my opinion. Wait, it's not one one twelve though. Will it say it's a seven inch action pig? Wait a minute. And this is the same thing for game reverse? It's Z D toys though. Hmm. And I see it for like $38.99. That's $40, but then they want $10 shipping and handling. I see one that's on um Toy Wonderland for $27.62. They got. I think they have the whole line on um on Tom on Toy Wonderland, uh for ZD Toys. They got uh Black Panther, they got Thor, they got Wolverine, and it's all for the same price, twenty seven sixty two. This big bro, big bro, what's going on? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. I'm gonna get them on. Hold on. Let, let, let's get them on right quick. Hold on. Oh, most of them aren't good. Terminator One, Salvation Extended. Look, go up. Let me see. I wish the Capcom Black Panther was a six inch uh, messenger. That game of verse BP is fire. I already sent the pick. Going for 64. Really, I ain't paid near that. I heard you when you said you ain't. I paid 39 eBay. Yeah, I figured that I saw one. Um, I'm looking at it right now. I see one, but it say 38.99. It want um ten dollars delivery. Man, hold on. Hey, I just um I just uh I just invited um uh uh B real in the chat, I mean uh, into the live. So if he wants to come in, he's welcome. Oh well you know he gonna he gonna make it do what it do. Big bro. Yeah, he sent you a link. He said give him a second. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back into this um DZ toy. They got buddy coming from China. <laughs> I ain't trying to do all that, my boy. I'm not trying to do all that. Yeah, they got him coming all the way from China. I ain't even trying to do it. What was the uh what's the next what's the next uh action you got lined up to get? Man, I don't even want to do y'all like that. <clears throat> I don't even want to do y'all like that. I don't, I don't even want to do y'all like that, cause it's some it's some it's some new new coming. It's some new new coming. We gotta we gotta move them. We got to move the needle. You know what I'm saying? We got some new, new coming. We are definitely moving the needle. Um, as I said today, 
we will be completing our our first super villain team which would be what don't wait don't tell me i'm gonna I'm guess uh masters of evil or crime syndicate Um, it is going to be the service society. Service society? Okay. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do remember you saying that. I do yeah, remember you mentioning uh, We got Puff Adder on the way, and we got uh, Constrict on the way. I'm enjoying that. Um, that allow me. We do have uh, another links on the way, so I can go ahead and get my sisters um, together. There my brother go right there. That my there we go. go. There we go. <laughs> my man Am I in the proper <laughs> uniform of the day, Sergeant? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about coming in my uniform, boy. You know better. Hey, I'm like, I'm like hey. what's up, Nico? What's happening? What's cracking? I'm good. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? So yeah, um, I got okay. that. Okay, mm -hmm. we in here. What are we talking about? Oh, oh, oh! Before I forget, bam! I'm sorry. You got right it. Here. Okay. There you go. Okay. Right there. That's right cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. I pay, I pay thirty nine dollars. Thirty nine dollars. Did you pay ten dollars shipping on top of it? No. Okay. Oh, uh, I might. I'll be, to... I, I, when I'm on eBay, most of the for when y'all when they got shipping charges, I like mm, turn off. Look, you might need a ten. You might. Yeah, need if they got a shipping charge, like ah, no, we ain't getting that. Listen, um, you might, you might let me just get close here. Let me just get close. There you go. That's yeah. See. <laughs> Detail in that. Is okay. that supposed to be Black Panther? Oh, Lord, Iron Lord, Man? Lord, she didn't gave me some strength. Oh Lord, she didn't gave me. It's a black. Is and well, I am. I am one hundred percent convinced Nico is an armor for sure. Listen, okay. she didn't. She you know, didn't gave me strength. Detail. You know, it's pretty. It is got a pretty. You know, the usual articulation, but it's got. You, you know, it. little things going. Uh, little things going on. Like, see the blades back there on his mm -hmm. on his legs. Mm -hmm. That's like that to me. To be honest with you, it looks like um a of course it's a T'Challa build, but like it looks like it's mixed with the um and he got Ra and he got sub on the back there. Yeah, that looks like it's mixed with the Mark Three armor from the first Iron Man movie. So yeah, it's definitely an armor. It's definitely an armor, and there ain't no doubt in your mind that's T'Challa got the T. Yeah, the T right there in front. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Cat, cat head on top. It looks more when you look at it, it looks like an armor. And it's got the usual stuff that they come with. You got uh you got all that. You know what I'm saying? You got stand, you got change your hands. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. You know what I'm saying? So he 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 come for bear. He come for bear. He here to play, you know. So uh maybe maybe there's a video forthcoming if y'all excited about it. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. So there. Yeah, my, my contribution to this jam. That's it. Right there. What's happening? What else <laughs> you talking about? Uh I was just asking. Um, well, I don't know if you have any questions for me. Uh if you well, I don't know what um you caught the live for. Well, where you where you caught the live in, but um basically what we talked about was the uh emergency awesome video that came through. Um uh, about him talking about Black Panther three, talking about they came out with news saying that they're still continuing with the stuff that they're not going to be making money for, for uh, TJ and um, that story arc that they're using, um, and basically the how I view the my views on the recast of Chala and how the impact it has on not only my generation but generations to come. <clears throat> and it, the impact it, it will have uh, on boys, young men, young black men, and young black boys. Was there a question in that, Nico? I'm not sure. I heard a question. No, uh, no, no. I, I was telling you what we what, what we had gone. Oh, with. oh, okay. All right. So, um, do I do I uh do I need to present something? Oh no, no, no. I was I was I was asking if you had any questions for me, but uh, it's okay. No, no. Um, I've been on. Maybe like a half hour. Okay. No, you good. So you're I good. came. I came on when I came on. Theo was screaming, "Thank you." <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, that's what I walked into. And he like, "Thank you, thank you," and everything. Thank you. Yeah, that's where I came in at. So, yeah. 
Big I'm bro. all caught up now. I'm all caught Big up bro. now. Did I lie? They got a lot to think of. No, no, no lies. No lies detected. Um, yeah, I mean, and I and I and I, I say this in the most respectful way. Our generation was very, very, and is very, very influential. Everything y'all remake, everything y'all recreate, everything y'all do another version of is from something in the 70s, something in the 80s, something in the 90s. And I don't say y'all collectively, I say that, you know, mm -hmm. no Mr. Nomers involved. Ain't y'all still wearing George? Ain't y'all still wearing George? Uh, some of That's us are. Do. That's <laughs> I do. That's not y'all do. That's, that's not hey, hey, hey now, Theo, they got LeBrons, but they're not wearing them like that. Though they're walking our stuff. Oh yeah, well they wouldn't have LeBrons if it wasn't yeah, for George. That's, that's, you walk around, you got you got mics on them. Them, them eye shoes. You welcome. I wanna be. I wanna be yeah, like my. Like, watch this. Yeah. You, you go to McDonald's. You welcome. Yeah, well, everybody want to be like Mike. We was going to McDonald's. Keeping McDonald's. You got a McDonald's in your hood. You welcome. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Watch this. If a church has popped up in your town, you welcome. Uh, I, I, know you're not I know you're not talking about church is chicken now. I know you're not talking about church is chicken now. We listen. They should have been no, gone. No, 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 no. My church is chicken. Who you think kept? Hold on. Wait, wait. Time out. What y'all know about? What y'all know about church? Oh, well, and, and before you start talking. Understand, church chicken been around like 40, 50 years. More than that. That's true. That's true. What about oh, and, and, and what, what you about think? Winning? What you you do? You like the fried okra from Church's Chicken? Yeah. Uh, I only had that once or twice in my lifetime. Yeah. And, stop. Uh, stop. 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 We can't talk. <laughs> we can't talk. Man. We can't talk. You ain't even had the okra. You ain't had the okra. Okay, I will say this: the okra was okay. All right, the okra was okay. okay. You welcome. Uh, you welcome. <laughs> welcome. Uh, Hold on, what, what about this? Uh, what you know about uh, Captain D's? You know what? You know what? They had a Captain D's here, and they shut it down. I'm, me personally, I'm a Long John Silver's kind of guy. Okay. You welcome. Okay. I can. You welcome. <laughs> you wel You you're welcome. Listen, yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, I mean, the stuff that y'all are enjoying right now. It's from us. And ain't that what my man, ain't that what my man said, the entertainer said, and, and be cool. When he was like, it always comes down to racial epithets. You know what I'm saying? Most of the achievements are done by us. Instead of saying thank you and going about your way, you know what I'm saying? You got to, oh, y'all you, some old cats. You know what I'm saying? At least that's what I hear a lot. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, I don't learn to accept it with stride. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Because... Because you, 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 you know what, 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 knowledge and wisdom are they're an mm -hmm. accumulation of experience. You know what I'm saying? You don't get wise coming out the gate. No, you don't. Good you get some knowledge mind. coming out the gate, but you got to have some applied experiences that, that 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 enable you to use that knowledge before you can say you're truly wise and, and make no mistake. Sometimes failing brings wisdom. Mm -hmm. Now I got a question for y'all. What I think failure was... always brings wisdom because I ain't because you wasn't walking right when you first started. Well, right. sometimes you succeed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you succeed. So then there is no failure. I don't know. I don't. You know. I don't, I don't know too many times we succeed right out the real because I. You know. We got. I. I, I, I know. Who's I got we? Two, Who's we? I, I mean, I know I got two plus two wrong the first time around. Is what I'm saying. I know I got. Well, somebody wrong. taught it to you, didn't they? <laughs> Huh? I'm saying like, you know, I got it wrong the first time. Now after that, because, uh, was, I thought I thought I thought the lesson came before the test. Huh? It, it, it did. It did. Like, how much is two plus two? I said something crazy. Okay, well that well, ain't well, it. Well, <laughs> when I went to school, they said uh, two plus two is four. There'll be a test Friday. No, they ain't get. No, they you better study. You better study. You better study, or you gonna get an F. They, they asked the question. Do y'all know what two plus two is? And I, you know me, I'm like, I know damn good and well, I don't know, so I'm gonna keep my hand down. And you have somebody raise their hand and get it wrong, just mm -hmm. for the teacher to say, no, you got it wrong, it's four. Not four, well, I guess four. I, would cut, I would cut different, bro, I was cut different. I always say my marbles. And, and, and in order for me to know how many marbles I had, I had to be able to count. 
and and I and when I lost my marbles, I had to be able to subtract. So you know, what I'm saying life lessons, life lessons. I can't do that unless we got a dollar sign in front of. Me. Got a dollar sign in front of. Me, I break that. Piece. <laughs> well, when I was seven, when I was seven, all I had was marbles. You know what I'm saying? You know, maybe when I turned eight, that's when I started. You know, peeling off. Said, you know, bills. But, you know what I'm saying? Fifty into a hundred. How Jay Z said he break that thing down. Yeah, I think I hey, it, 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 it's the daily grind, baby. It's the daily grind. Put a dollar sign in front of it. But I got it. But no, um, Nico, you asked me earlier. I was trying to ask. I was trying to see um, what surviving restaurants do y'all still see? That's around because I'll say in my hometown, um, I don't know if y'all know of a, know of a restaurant called Miss Winners. Uh, um, it used to be. It might it might be just some restaurants that are native to North Carolina, but um, there uh, there is one that just shut down from this uh, up the street from me that was around during my childhood, and it was called Miss Winners. Um, the one uh, when I mentioned Captain D's, uh, there was always there's a cat there's like you would have to like go a certain mile uh, or go down a certain highway or you have to go to a, almost old almost a certain city just to get cat and d's and because they're so spaced out apart and that was that was kind of baffling to me because you had like i'll say y'all got church chicken now we still got popeyes popeyes is starting to pop off and um <laughs> I remember there was a funny uh a funny skit that uh, somebody made where um they had uh what a 7-Eleven and there was a dude a black man that was arguing with this Indian dude and he brought out a 7-Eleven biscuit and then uh the Indian dude brought out the Popeye's biscuit because it was it was so dry. 7-Eleven <laughs> made biscuits? Yeah, I think so. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna say they made biscuits. I'm gonna say they had breakfast sandwiches. Okay. I'm gonna say that because uh, Circle K, Seven Eleven, Quick Trip. Um, I do not buy my food there. No, no. But yeah, you you, you asked me something earlier. I just don't. I can't. What you, you asked say? me something earlier in regards to like what action figures I was gonna be. Getting. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I need the real to send me that link so we can see about getting the, getting the price check on that. But uh, I got I got some stuff with Valiverse coming. I got some stuff with Valiverse coming. Yeah, like okay. Uh, I got some stuff from um Hasbro coming. Uh, this stuff that I felt like would would move the needle. Um, uh, I got that Banshee three pack because I did not have a Banshee. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm getting the White Queen. Not necessarily a fan of the figure, but that is a that's the best Emma Frost White Queen. The black one. No, the white one. The most recent one from Astonishing X Men. The um, one the arms can't move. Right. Um, that's a, you know, I might do something different with that. Um, uh, I bought the Banshee three pack. I'm going to take the the Psylocke that comes mm -hmm. with that. And I'm, I bought the retro dream Jean Gray and Orange jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. I don't like the physique, the cut of that particular action figure. So Jean Gray has like a blue headpiece on. So I'm gonna Pop that head off and put it on the one with the blue and yellow costume. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, um, so hey, there's a lot of people out here using that cheat. So don't don't feel like you got to do nothing different. I was watching a video the other day. Uh, somebody took the jacket off of Blue Marble and and, and, and put a cape on him. Yeah. So it's it's one of the things and, where it's and, like, <laughs> and that's cool, but that ain't the problem with Blue Marble. At least for us, it wasn't. That Blue Marble ain't big enough. It ain't buff enough. So right. yeah, as far as you throwing a cape on a skinny guy, yeah, okay. Yeah, so me for mine, that's like that was one of the things. Getting that puff adder and getting that constrictor, that was that was that was real cool. Um, I got the the action figure that I got from um from Valiverse. That's the sniper. Mm -hmm. He he's real nice. The uh, reason why I got I got the um steel brigade female because I like. I want to get Jody Shooter, mm -hmm. G.I. Joe Classified. It's a black action figure. But when I look at what somebody in the military would be actually going out there shooting in, mm -hmm. the Steel Brigade action figure is better than me. Because I don't keep trying to shoot an action figure, just pop the head scope off and just put it on the Steel Brigade action figure, and that mm -hmm. would be a better action figure to me. Okay. 
Who was now, the, uh, one question I had was, um, I've seen your videos on how you do army builds. Do you have an army build for Doom bots or Doom, in, Doom himself? No, I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that because Doom is a major villain, and you can get you can get caught up in doing stuff like that. But the thing is, is that because he's a major villain, he's also a major action figure. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna do an army build of Doom bots, you're gonna bust yourself upside the head. Like you almost, if you're gonna do Doom bots, you need to go get the old toy biz, Doctor Dooms, and mm -hmm. just collect them and let them be what that's gonna be. Because if okay. you now, now. now. When we do talk about army builds um for dr doom let's look logically at what army quote unquote dr doom has does dr doom have an army of doom bots that look like him or does dr doom have an army of doom bots that just look like a rank and file robot it depends so on by that now. token you could take any yeah i don't know you could probably take a uh, uh, you could probably take a Halo figure. Um, there are any number of Halo figures and turn that into a Doom bot. You could take a, yeah. uh, you could take any number of Transformers and make a Doom bot. You can make a Doom bot out of anything that looks robotic. Honestly, mm -hmm. yeah. over the years, the Doom bots have taken on different looks. And what I would say, ask yourself as an action figure collector, is what are you looking for? If your visual aesthetic of a Doom bot is where well, they got to look exactly like Doctor Doom. Yeah, mm -hmm. you feel like a problem. Not if your visual yeah, aesthetic is, yeah, if your visual aesthetic like D real is to say, okay, well, I understand Doom bots are basically just bots, and mm -hmm. I can go get like 10 bots posed in with Dr. Doom, 10 robots that look the same, and say they're my Doom bots. It's one of the things that me and D real look at, like my my midnight angels don't look like somebody else's midnight angels. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ray Smith actually got a blue. No, I'm like, I'm going to go get this Scarlet action figure, get her for the low. <laughs> Real, Real quick, I'm, I'm browsing. I may cut you off. I'm browsing. You mm -hmm. own the Yamaguchi Revelatech Black Panther, Theo, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How much you pay yeah. for that? Okay, that that it that you don't have to say nothing else. You don't have to say nothing else. Okay. Um, can you can you can you see that? Slide it over. No, the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the one with ten dollars shipping and handling? Well, for thirty nine dollars. Now, normally. That's what I asked you. What did you pay shipping and handling? Because no, this is like the one I own. This is the one you own, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I know, I, I know you paid more than that. Yeah, I did. I did. I'm mad because I'm like I could have held off. <laughs> I'm about, to, I'm about to come up, dog. <laughs> I'm mad because I could have held off. I'm about off. to come I'm up, dog. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, look at all that stuff you get for thirty nine ninety nine. I mean, I'm <laughs> saying, saying, you feel me? I ain't hey, saying. Hey, 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 Nico, Nico, this is what happens. Sometime, you know what I'm saying? I, I I might be like, it might be January, and I'm like, ooh, I see that, and then ninety nine dollars, bump it. I'm a gone to get it. July, it'll be forty, and then Theo will find it and be like, dog, is that that same figure you paid ninety nine dollars for? I got it for forty, bro. So yeah, hey, 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 sometimes, sometimes you eat the elephant, sometimes the elephant eat you. Yeah, you know? like. <laughs> You have to sit up when you're looking at collecting action figures and like, okay, what moves you, what you want, what's going to get it for you? Like I said, me, I was like, first of all, the Serpent Society, Puff Adder, I had been wanting Puff Adder. I was like, man, you know, because you can do some serious storytelling if you got a legitimate super team. You feel what I'm saying? And then wow. I'm sitting up there like, yeah, I got a, I got like, what, a five deep, six deep Serpent Society now? Yeah, yeah. You sit up here, you be licking your chops like, okay, I, I can do some things like this. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, they low-key get ready to drop that angel, and I ain't trying to cap, but if I got Banshee, which I do, I got Siren, which I do, well, they drop this 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 angel off, your boy gonna have the X-Men. That's and, and I got my X-Men. Like, I got great beats. I know people like, man, what's blue? I don't give a damn about no blue. You great first. <laughs> Angel, Angel's wings are, are more manageable. 
It's a different. It's it's a different type of of wing. It ain't that that lock in wing. It's like the wing that's got the hole, and you can pop it in there. And then once you pop it in there, it click 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 and oh, move. That's a beautiful action. It is. It yeah. really is. I'm like that close. I'm like, mmm. Because the angel, I angel, I don't like the angel I got because the wing's too heavy. It's exactly. And then that Valiverse, the one that's that's the sniper, bro. That's. Bro, I just I just looked at his whole outfit and I said, you know what? I'm gonna have to go ahead and bust down on that. I'm gonna have to go ahead because you know I we we prize service, right? We prize no service. Doubt. No doubt, no doubt. My dog come with that sniper rifle and low key. I ain't have nobody in the camouflage green like like he in that camouflage green. Like he in it. I said, well, hey, is he damn sure in it? I'm like, yeah. man, and they got a ghillie suit too. Now this beat. Now see Nico, watch this. This way you get the, you get the, you gotta be watching stuff. So when you sit up here, you be like, okay, I got the desert trooper already. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got the steel brigade desert trooper. Feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm at with that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm looking like this. Okay, I got a steel brigade female because you gotta have that female representation. You feel of what I'm course. saying? Of course. Now you got Buddy that's the sniper. His gun actually looks better, and this is what made me not F with G.I. Joe Classified. His sniper rifle looks better than Jody's sniper rifle. Hers mm -hmm. just look like great plastic. No, nah, they put some thought and effort into Buddy's sniper rifle. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then on top of all that, if you got him, when April or May roll around and G.I. Joe dropped a 50th anniversary, Army Army Trooper and Scuba Trooper. Mm -hmm. What you said? Am I right or wrong, D? No lies. You, you said you said because both of them from GI Joe Classified. When I say they coming with a, a a stack a gang of accessories, you, the the needle has moved. You sit up there and you be like, oh man, good God Almighty Jesus! Like honestly, you get them them figures, whatever box they come in, that box don't need to be thrown away. Cause they come in with way too much stuff. Now, do y'all have a, do y'all have a Silver Surfer or no? Of course. Hey, look, I look. Just... He feel like. <laughs> Thank you, D. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> <On> everybody. <laughs> wait, okay. wait. You know what you can't ask us? That's like it's almost like basic. It's like y'all got the Fantastic Four. <laughs> hey look i have not had hey, look, hey, not only do i had a fantastic four i got the whole fantastic four three human torches two things um and two mr fantastic bro watch this you ready oh yeah i got the fantastic four. i got the fantastic 12. Shit. i got them in all black because that's what i wanted but watch this because the dude with the black only came with the stretchy hand Mm -hmm. I got the two blue arms. So you just took the two blue arms and put them on and did what you had to do. Or you I mean, them. When, I mean, when my dog stretch, I need my dog to stretch. Like if my dog going going for the goal, I need my dog to go for the goal. Like I, I need, I need, I need my dog. I need his arms to make it do what it do. Like I don't I don't just want his fingers to stretch. Mm -mm. I need the arm to stretch too. So we just you want to be my friend, send me your ninjas. Huh? If you got any kind of ninja figures. Any kind of ninja base figure, cause uh, I I am building a ninja army of extraordinary magnitude. Well, you know what, man? It's low key your fault, man. But I, you gonna mess around and make me get the storm shadow that come with the hoodie? <laughs> I low key been looking at that dude, and I've been trying to ignore him for a minute, cause I've been going back and forth with Mr. That, yep, one? that one right there. You gonna you gonna make me you gonna make me do something? You gonna make? Hey, I did a uh, I did a photo shoot with that one. When when I went when I when I had my shootout in the snow, the one I put on TikTok, I use I use a matter of fact I got about about six storm shadows. You you know wow. what it was? If I could put this on your dome real quick, man. Speak speak I was on. Going it. back and forth. You remember me and you talked? I said I was gonna get um ghost ghost maker. That was gonna be my storm shadow, right? Yeah. I got to looking at. It, I was like, man, I don't really like that. And then I said I saw what Bobby Valla did. Valla verse. He had the uh, Steel Brigade uh, Arctic Trooper. And I was like, that could be my storm shadow. And I said, no, 
Because I don't really like that steel brigade figure. I really, really don't. Yeah, that's I do. I really don't like that steel Yo, brigade action figure. Who is that? That's that's ghost. That's oh, all ghost maker. Right. Yeah, that 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 the figure you talking about? That goes, yeah, man. Okay. So then I said, hey, you need to read up on him too, cause he's dope as hell. He is dope as hell. So I said, well, maybe I will get the snow trooper. Val Bobby Val Valiverse got a snow trooper. You know, you have to get the extra gear and everything. I was like, that could be my storm shadow. And I said, I don't necessarily one. I got uh, not eight ball, but I got scratch mm -hmm. from Fortnite. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I got scratched already. Me. And I said to my sister, man, I don't necessarily like that because it's too white. You know, it comes with the green, and Bobby's going for that authentic aesthetic where it's supposed scratch to be. Scratch is too white? white color. Huh? Scratch is too white? No, I like scratch because scratch oh, okay. got the black in there, the gray and everything. I like the breakup with yeah, the. Kind Valiverse. of reminds me of the spot. Yeah, with the Valiverse. It's white, but it's the green, and I understand that's that's the color that it's supposed to be, but it's not enough breakup. Like it's too white for me. Right. Then I look back at that storm shadow. I said, "Man, I, I kind of like this dude right here, cause the aesthetic that I'm going for is I need that wild card. Like he will always be the dude that he would be Snake Eyes's. D, you gonna get this? One. He would be Snake Eyes's Racer X. I get he, that totally." He would be Snake Eyes as Racer X. So it'd be like, you think you finna do Snake Eyes in. Snake Eyes think you finna do him in. That dude over there. <laughs> he making sure it's always go go to Snake Eyes' paper. <laughs> so I said to myself, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Cause one of them, one of them nobody gets to kill him but me type thing. Right. Like the ninja aesthetic. I cause I really don't have a ninja aesthetic except for what I got going on. With these, with these figures right here, what I got going, but I was like, I could do that. I could do that. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to make a move on that too. You know, you know what else I'm looking at it. I the, the the this is the six inch storm shadow, but there's a five inch one, um, and it's made almost the same way. The only difference between these two is the hood, the bow, and and the articulation. Cause like here, I'm looking at it right now. Hold on. I'm gonna get the one you got, big dog. That's what I'm gonna have to do. This do right here. That's five inch line. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that, man. They, listen, you got to be careful looking at them things. Them things are playing. Yeah, yeah you don't know what you're looking and, at. You know, but I like the accessorization. Yeah, yes, oh, yes, this yes. One. You know what I'm saying? He's got blades, he's got bow, and one of these arrows you can actually pull out and put in the bow. And, and 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 pose him like he's bowing heroin. So yeah. Uh and I was gonna do my uh I was gonna do my history of blade thing. I had to dig that joker up. The the original. Oh, true, okay, true. that is nice. That okay. is nice. I, I did that's what 2000 no that's 2006 is, is is this one. And then you we was talking about last week, Theo, about the uh Seven inch one. They got Marvel Select Blade. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a nice fit. That's a nice yeah. fit. That's cool. And got a, again accessories up the wazoo. Got an actual functioning glaive. Um, well, not functioning, but you know, it opens and closes. You know, like Blaze Glaive does, and he's got like a like a tonfa with a blade on the end of it. And then, of course, the sword, which fits, you know, it's, yeah. I, only thing on, like, the stakes don't come off that he's got on his leg. The stakes don't come off. Okay. Other than that, man, okay. the, all the guns and the knives that's in them holsters you, on, on the legs, and you can pull those out. So, yeah, that's, this to me is the nicest blade. You want a nice blade, just put a, just put a leather coat on that. Or, or 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 well, or you could modernize the look and give him like a leather jacket and kind of paint some red highlights on it and kind of like rock it like how Blade is rocking right now. Bro, this bro, I'm, I'm looking at this. Uh, I'm looking at this Storm Shadow, bro. He giving me life right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, here you go. Let me inspire you. Watch this. Nico, you ready? 
Big bad oh, yeah, toy store. Big, big, bad, big bad toy store. We're not doing we not big bad toy store. We can't get them for the low because it's still retail at big bad toy store. See, this one you get to go to eBay and see if eBay got him. Oh loose. bro, I guarantee you you're gonna find one on eBay. How many people been asking about a storm shadow? I'm talking about for a lesser price. Oh, hang on. Give me my five seconds. <laughs> Hey y'all, um, I might be getting off in a minute because uh, gotta get uh ready for work in the morning. But um, that's what that is. No, no, I understand. I'm hey, look, I'm I'm walking with y'all just like you're rocking with me. Uh, Camillo said M Marvel Legends has the hand and the fist action figures. Got them. You found it. I have them. Yes. Um, do you want one in the box or out the box, Theo? What you got? Twenty two ninety nine. Yes, sir. Yeah, I saw that. I'm looking at it right now. You know we, but you know, you know we low key. You know how we be doing this thing. Right? What we do? <laughs> what we do? What we do? Okay, so Nico, you say you about to get up, man? Yeah, I gotta get on up out of here. But look, thank y'all for coming through. Um, yeah, man. Yep. Well, thank uh, you for having them. Huh? About time, huh? Look, it's been, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. I, I thank y'all for coming through. This has been a kickstart to my channel again. And um, I will make sure to uh try to do some more with y'all. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate y'all both coming through. This has been a blessing, and um, I love y'all, man. Thank y'all. Yes, sir.